What is good guys? We have a huge announcement. The Cocktails and Takeaways live show is in full action on the 4th of July, 2023. It's gonna be in the O2 Indigo. We are gonna have live performances, special guests. I'm telling you guys, this is a whole new experience. No more sitting down and talking on a boring ass sofa with all the live shows and all their boring ass games. We are taking podcast live show to the next level. So make sure you get your tickets by clicking the description box below. And I'm going to tag it in the comments as well. And I will see you on the 4th of July. Per. lucky though yeah. hay fever is the yeah. worst thing to have i remember i went out and i was meeting up with some guy that i really fancied oh, no. really fancied and it was in the middle of summer i forgot to take my tablet and when if i don't take my tablets that is the end of it so i got outside and obviously he was looking good and we're talking talking whatever we're walking around uh central london and then all of a sudden i felt it and i you it gets to the first point is you feel it in your nostril mm -hmm. in your, and then i remembered shit i forgot to take my tablets then from there i was just i could sneeze consecutively like i was sneezing sneezing like uh. that's how i sneeze and then my eyes puff up yeah. really bad and then it starts itching so i'm literally like trying to itch my eye trying to itch my eye all my mascara is You're running trying to, cute. trying to make it sexy but it's like no the mascara is already lifted like i looked rough it was rough it was a oh rough day God. for me my hay fever gets really Mine's bad like too i have like my eyes get red and swollen and then my nose bleeds and it's like just don't go outside it's like springtime right the nose bleeds i've never had a nose bleed I, I, I've been getting them sometimes. I get nosebleeds all the time. She never used to get them until we started living together, and now she gets nosebleeds all the time She as just well. wakes up bleeding from the dome. <laughs> and then I met her, now she's like, every. I don't get them as often as you do. Mm -hmm. but I definitely get them. We'll just be talking to each other, and I'm just like, and there's just blood. Uh -huh. like. Does because, it just come out? Does it, it just feel starts, like You never had a nosebleed? I'm, do you know what? I've never broken a bone. Neither. I've never had a nosebleed. I very rarely get sick. When you get a nosebleed, at first you think, oh, like, I just need to blow my nose. There's, like, snot in my nose. And then you touch your face and your hand, it's blood. Like, you don't realize your nose is bleeding. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel it like, just it just feels like, feels like, like snot. Yeah. yeah. Girl, I, I do not want to go there. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, dear. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, your subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Guys, I want you to get involved with something that we do on this show called Question of the Week. So, this week's Question of the Week was a very, very random one. And it was, what is your, what is the worst name to have? And what is the best name to have? So, like, what's the worst name somebody could have? Like, like when you when you hear that name, it's just like, you know, what? that's a pretty shit name to have. Damn, you know what's crazy? Is I had I actually I've thought about this before. Yeah, we've talked about this before. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second because some of you parents they don't love you. Like some people have some names where it's just like yeah. that name doesn't bang at all. I can't even. I don't know if I can think of one on the spot. But you know when some a name just sounds like it's like it belongs to like an 80 year old male That's but it's like names. you were this name since Phyllis. you were born thank Phyllis. you <laughs> Phyllis that's what I was thinking about yeah. Phyllis you're that, you were that name when you came out of your mom's stomach that's such a trash <laughs> and then you name. grew up you were two years old with the name Phyllis, Phyllis. you know we know a Phyllis that's a boy no Phyllis as a man and his name isn't even actually Phyllis he decided to make his name Phyllis that's because he, he liked it thank he liked you. that name so much everybody calls him Phyllis I was like yo what what? That's, like I looked at his ID and I was like, "Your name isn't actually Phyllis. <laughs> you willingly is, made this decision. You made a choice on your own by yourself." Phyllis, Phyllis sounds like a seventy-year-old grandmother with gray hair and ding. I feel like we could all agree that it's those names where it's like it's for like the generation for four generations ahead of us. Yeah, definitely. That had those names and like back in them days, like oh my god, like Phyllis, that's such a cool name. Yeah. It's like now it's that like, girl. You should not be calling anyone under under twenty-five Phyllis. Phyllis. But what about Phil? Phil for sure. 
Phil would be okay. Phil sounds like a 40 year old man's name though. Yeah, it's, still, it's, fucking, it's fucking like, the same thing. I just spat all over, sorry. <laughs> like, like if somebody tried to speak to me and his name was Phil? Uh-oh. No. But I have a friend named Philip. <laughs> Maybe we can. Philip is nice. I like Philip. Philip evolve as you get a new. Philip age. sounds more yeah. Francais. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. got a bit of a Philippe. Hi, maybe. hello. My name is Phil. Turn around. <laughs> yeah, go back where you came from. <laughs> <laughs> that's Phil is the type of men that do construction. Like you, so like when I think of certain names, I feel like a certain character. Like yeah. I'm thinking beer belly. I hope this a little yoga, balding. Can this catch everything? Because my stomach right now is making noises. It is not. No, no, it won't catch okay. your stomach. It won't, okay. it won't catch your stomach. You're fine. Okay. But um, some of the bad boys and girls they put they get they sent in a list of names okay. of their least favorites and their most favorite. So someone said the name Ebenezer should be in the bin. I've never even heard that name in my life. Ebenezer. You've never heard of Ebenezer? Ebenezer is Scrooge from the Christmas Carol. Ebenezer Scrooge. That's a fucking dead name. Sorry. <laughs> Ebenezer not that bad. I think it's a little bit... It's a bit cute to me. A, and, and, if he's, <laughs> and if he's younger, <laughs> if he's younger, he can go by Oh my God, Benny. Ebenezer is a, is a male name? Yeah. Or Benny? It's a guy's name. That sounds so girly to me. Ebenezer. Ebenezer sounds girly pop, like, to me. No, Ebenezer, and then maybe when he's younger, he can go by, like, Benny Short. How'd you get from Ebenezer to Benny? Eben. Eben. Conjugate it. Cut it up. In the middle. <laughs> so I'll just be cutting, abbreviating. Conjugate it. Cut it, it up. Cut it up. But mm, Ebenezer, no. I'll give that a pass. Mm. No, this name. Someone said Festus is bottom barrel. That name is a not gonna lie, my stepdad was called. Are Festus. these British names? I don't know. They sound a little bit, but yeah. I know a Festus. And Festus, Festus is a very dead Festus name. Festus is a little bit. It's a little bit disrespectful to your child to name your child Festus. Festus. Festus That's is. Festus sounds like um a bacterial infection. Oh my the, god. Am I? Are we no, wrong? you're totally right. Yeah, it, yeah, it does. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Festus sounds sounds like infestation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did that's not a name. So that, that's that's that, not a name. That's that, not even a bad name. That's not a name. Sorry who came up with all the Where did that out originate there? from? I don't uh, know. Someone said Gretchen. Gretchen is not that bad. Gretchen Wait. Wieners from Gretchen Wieners from what's that movie with the white girls? Mean Re- Girls. And Recess. Is it not Re- Recess? Yeah, Recess. The the cartoon. Gretchen. Is Recess a UK thing? No, it's a US thing. Back in, is it Recess? Yeah. Rugrats. No, it's like the, they used to be in school and. There's Mikey, there's that fat one in the green t-shirt. Gretchen, and she was like the bully and had her hair like in pigtails, no? You know this, like it's very American. Hold on, recess. You can't tell me you You don't know. You know what, it's starting to click in my head a little bit. Oh my God, yeah, 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 yeah. You've never watched Mm -mm. recess? It used to come on like Nick at night. It used to come on. Nick at night, my friends. So this is Gretchen. Oh, I feel like I've seen her individually. Yeah. And this black boy next to her, too, as well. I've seen them. Yeah, this is a proper... This is cartoon I've never watched it, though. It's maybe my yeah, age I never watched showing. it either. I'm a SpongeBob I liked girl. Rugrats. Maybe my age is showing. How old but are you? I'm only 25. Girl, we're not... You're not that. <laughs> we're... I'm 23. I'm 22. We're the same age group. Yes, I'm... T- yeah, but I feel like that recess is, is a very prominent cartoon. I was watching SpongeBob. Do you know what? I'm gonna just give it a. I'm gonna just. <laughs> I'm gonna just give it. But yeah, Gretchen is one. Another person said Connor. I like Connor. Connor's not that bad. Connor's they cute. said. I'm not even gonna read what they said. <laughs> <laughs> gonna it's it's kind of racist. I'm not even gonna. Okay. The person that said it is white, but I feel like if I said it, they'd call me racist. I'm just like yeah, 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 say yeah. it. Connor's not too bad. Connor's cute. But would I need my kid, Connor? Mm-hmm. Connor. But if a Connor tried to mack at me, it depends hey. on what the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it depends on what the Connor looks like. Um, <laughs> you know what? Me, I like ugly men. So, and that's not a lie. What do you mean it's not a lie. I like them a little it's bit not ugly. A lie. She likes them. <laughs> the men that this one likes, they have to look like they haven't eaten in three weeks, maybe even four. They have to look a little bit green undertone in their skin. Like, are you? Do you have malaria or no? <laughs> they have to look long hair, greasy hair. Did you shower? Yes or no? Long, greasy hair or like, like, not just long, greasy hair, because that makes it sound like I like white boys only, okay? No, 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 no. There's not, it's not just white people, guys. Not just white people. But yeah. I like everybody. Yeah. We don't discriminate. That's like me. I don't discriminate. But, but white boys, please, seriously, I want to date a white boy. I'm tired. I want to just try it before I settle down. Listen, one thing about white boys, 
Go on. They know. Damn, I should not be saying none of this. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Let me keep that to myself. She said, no, but I have to save myself because now it sounds like I'm implying something I don't actually mean. Okay. One thing about white boys, they're really sweet. Like, okay. Okay. Good. They pay for everything. They open the door. Lovely. Like they do. Like they're such gentlemen. That was mm-hmm. a hell of like yeah. save. That's Providence. what I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah. Like one thing about white boys, they are gentlemen. Like it's like, I've never seen you anybody do that before. <laughs> like <laughs> what? Like they're really sweet. I'm gonna keep my I feel like with you would like a white boy. Do you know what? Yeah. I've, I've I spoke to one white boy in year ten. Yeah. And he just wasn't circumcised, and I think that threw me off. Oh my god! It just threw it just threw me off. After that, it just threw me off. But Did I, you have to see it to understand? Yeah. This, this? Damn. yeah, I saw it, and I thought I've never seen an uncircumcised penis before because I only know black circumcised. And then men. you make it pink on top of that, no circumcision. <laughs> it just it just the, the, it, it just spun me. It just it just wasn't yeah. different. I was like, whoa! I said, this is so. Since then. I've just, I've never dated, had any, like, romantic interaction with a white boy, but I would love to. White men, seriously, I'm ready. I'm You're ready right. to have that experience. <laughs> you might not be my husband, but I want to have the but experience you could. to talk about it. Huh? They could. I mean, you could be. Have you, you seen those, wi- those weddings where there's, like, a white people adapting to, like, they're wearing, like, what is it, gele? Oh, yeah, the gele and, and then they're trying to... Yeah, it's a oh, bit scary. <laughs> it's a bit scary. <laughs> what do they do? The, uh, they're playing the Afro beats yeah. and they're really fat. Do you know what? Yeah, do you know what I realized about white people? And I love white people, yeah. But I have I have a friend who's white. And there was one time we were sitting in his car. And this boy can't fucking dance for shit. For nothing. As in, he can't dance Can for any of them, though? No. no. There's, really, there's some of them, you see them. them. There's some of them on TikTok that you see. They're, yeah, they're, they're actually fucking it. They're okay. more than me. They're, they're doing fucking yeah. it up. Mm-hmm. I have to give them that. But, you yeah. know, the majority of them can't. They don't have rhythm. I mm-hmm. don't want to say they can't. They can dance in their own way. And I was like, bruv, why can't you do, why can't you find the rhythm? <laughs> <laughs> but what, like, I'm hearing it. You're I'm hearing, hearing it. it. Like, you're not hearing, you're it. not hearing it. But what I found with white people, yeah, they don't, when you actually look at how they dance, they don't dance to the beat, they dance to, <laughs> to the, the words. <laughs> The thing, no, that's true. Why Listen, do I'm not, dance I'm to not, the words? I've never thought about that. They dance to the words. If you actually, they are dancing to a rhythm, but it's the wrong rhythm. because They're all in one beat together. None of it is on beat to the song, but they're on beat together. Because they're on beat to, <laughs> to the, the words. words. All okay. of them are on beat to the words. <laughs> imagine, imagine this, like, we're dancing to Burner Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. On a normal they day. They dance to the words. They will be like, my nigga. What's it gonna be? Do, do you want yeah. They will move yeah, yeah, as he's yeah. talking. As the, a, it don't cast, then they stop. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the next word comes. Last, last. last. <laughs> no, everybody go. No. Yeah, yeah, last, last. Last. It's like, yeah, that's how they dance. Mm, and then that, you know, the do, 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 that will throw them off. So they, it's like they're, they're on the words and then they're like, overstimulated. Like, they're overstimulated. They don't know where to go. Yeah. And that's and I said, no, you don't dance to the words. You have to dance with the beat. So we literally sat there and we were like, find the beat. Mm, mm, mm. And I literally taught him how to dance that day. Not wow. he doesn't know how to dance, but he knows how to catch the beat. As long as you can do, do something to the right beat, you're fine. But these lot, they be dancing yeah, to the, the words, words, and it just looks a bit. That's that's what. What next time? Watch a white person dance. Oh, we and it was the other day. <laughs> we went, I was talking. We went to the Irish pub. <laughs> that's what they were doing. I was watching them. I just could not get it. I could not partake in the in the things that were happening. I'd be them. partaking in it. Yeah. Something about dancing off beat is real fun. No, dancing off beat yeah. is fun. It's fun. I don't think we can even I mean, do like, it. We, we can't even do it. Like, it looks cool. Oh, but even when we you. do it, when we do it, we're still low key on, on beat. beat. Yeah, we're yeah. still on beat. Yeah. I just want to be as careless as them and free. They be. You need to dance to the words. <laughs> Don't dance. Fuck the that's beat. what we're doing you wrong. Need, you're not, yeah. That's what we're Next doing wrong. Next time, let's try that. We need yeah. to start da- dance to the beat you know to, the, be to going, the word. They be really dancing to the word when I'm deep in it. Like they be on some like, like what is that? Busta Rhymes. They if you watch them, they dance fast. Because yeah. Buster Rhymes is speaking fast. fast. The beat's not fast. The beat's not fast. But but wait, how they be dancing about it? Get away, get away. And they're they'll just busting it. Just <laughs> get, it's like... <laughs> and I wonder, like, are you overstimulated? Is the beat... Like, what is it? Nah, it's the word. But it's the word. I've never seen a white person dance to Buster Rhymes. <laughs> I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen one who got on his head what? and spun. But it's like overstimulation <laughs> at its finest. Girl, it's obvious. Honestly, that, 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 that's the overstimulated. I don't know what to do. <laughs> wow. But big up all the white people though. Listen, big up all the white people. Listen, 
I love the white people. Can I also want to say something, yeah? Well, something is annoying me, yeah? And I don't like it. Fair enough, white people can't dance, okay? We already know this, yeah? But they are so carefree, and I love that about them. A lot of them are very carefree. And what I'm not liking is people seeing white people dancing, and we know they can't dance, but they're having a good time, mm-hmm. and people recording them. I would like us to please stop that. It's not nice. Like people, it's, like, it's bullying. It's bullying. Yeah. Yes, the moves weren't banking, but <laughs> I would rather somebody be in their own. Like uh, this is this is in response to something happened. Chris Brown has been in the UK. First of all, this guy's been here for too long. Like he's still here fighting for his life. Is your man on the floor? He's, he's been here. On the, he's been here for like two months. You might even catch him. Like, he's been here for a time. Like. He's doing the hmm. he's doing the Michael Jackson 40, 40 50 sellout oh tour arena. God, wow. Like he's wow. really going through it. Okay. Um, and there was a woman, or no, there was a man who was really fucking up the dance floor. You know the way, <laughs> fucking it up. Like arms f- f- frailing, moving body. Like he was really dancing to those words. Like he was really dancing to those words. And people are recording it and posting it. And I feel like I really hate when people do that. Because one, you're absolutely right, it's bullying. And two, I would rather people do that than do what we see in concerts where people are just standing and holding the phones up. Yeah, yeah at Let least pe- they're having standing, a good time. Yeah, yeah, They're having a good time. Let people have fun. Standing and recording is is actually genuinely so weird. If I see like if I see a white person like doing some some crazy looking dance mm-hmm. move, I like to join them as well. Mm-hmm. Especially if I've had enough drinks, join them. Do what they're doing and then see how you feel after you do. When your body starts shaking, shaking, and you start doing what they're doing, you find that it's actually quite fun. Never me. What? Never me. I will. I will look up you and say, "That's the hot mess," but that's the vibe. No, but you have to act. Sometimes you have to act like no one's watching you. You know. You do, and the thing is, but I love that. Like, even if people like, I will look at him and be like, "Fuck, fuck it up, shit." Like it's it's a mess, but it, I love it. Uh-huh. Like, but. To record them and to laugh at them, I really don't like it. Like, it's super pretentious. Mm-hmm. It's like, let people have a good time in the way that mm-hmm. they know. Yes, you can't dance. It's things like that that makes it where now we go to a concert and everybody's just standing, standing still. There. Being fucking and dead. And phones yeah. out. Like, it's yeah. like... Mo- fake bougie. There's nothing yeah. I hate more than that. When I go to a function and everybody is just like this. Yeah. And they're and pretending. Like, On social media, it looks like they're having a good time. But, like, you you are watching this fraud in full effect. Yeah. You're full a fraud. Effects. You're literally... And, and for the 10 seconds that the Snapchat is going for, they're turning up. And then once the Snapchat's finished... They it's like, yeah. Do you know, do you know what's so good? I've real. seen that so many times. Yeah, it happens all like, the time. You literally see, they're like... <sighs> yep. Then like they go back what? to normal. It's like, you guys... D- and then they're the same ones who complain on Twitter talking about, like, they'll post videos of people, like, turning up at concerts, like, 30, 40 years ago, be like, why can't we be like this? You, babe. That's why we can't be like yeah. that because you got your you phone the out the entire time. Yeah, exactly. We have a problem of of lack of self awareness yeah. in this in this um, generation. If every, if something is wrong, but nobody is being accountable. I for think it. everybody, if you go to a concert or a function, just leave your phone in the car or leave it at home, or just Let's stop caring what people think. Yeah, turn it's, up. Just go. Like seriously, yeah. turn the fuck up. Yeah. I love people like that. I feel like do you know what's really interesting yeah i feel like when i go to functions now i really don't give a fuck these days i really extra don't give a fuck Mm -hmm. obviously me being in social media and stuff i'm aware that people know me when they see me but i try to be as extra real as possible because i don't want life to be stripped from me because i'm i'm scared of what people think so i will go out and I will fucking dance my bamba clock, pussy ras clock on the dance floor. And if you think I'm doing too much, that's your that's business. That's your business. You went home, you didn't have a good time. You didn't I have did. a good time. I don't need to prove, like, for, I feel like people sometimes go out because they need to, they feel like they want to prove something to mm-hmm. people. Like, yeah, I'm an it girl. Or Mm-mm. this fake bougie thing Mm-mm. is fucking tired. I'm t- This fake like, pretentious. What? I'm just going to sit in the corner and be mysterious. You, went, you went to the club even when I'm when I'm going to the club I try to find my best shoe what shoe can I get on the dance floor and actually do a and damn do thing? a dance and I don't care what happens my wig be coming off if you see the way I go to the club my wig comes off my this one Stacey your underwear is out your pants are falling pants. I'm behind your her like shoes are, pulling her pants and I'm she's trying to dress me I'm, I'm just going I don't care like people are looking at you but it's like I had a good time you went home and you had a, a nice snapchat 
But Literally. are you fulfilled in your heart? Are you really fulfilled? Mm. Is your heart really fulfilled? Mm-hmm. If it's that, not. yeah, it's not. life is too short, man. Have a good time, it's and it, right. yeah. But please stop recording people. Like it's really become mm-hmm. a new pet peeve of mm-hmm. mine. Yeah you're laughing at people who are just living their lives and having fun one day we will, we, everything will do people will just be standing and looking like Lucas Aid and I don't want yeah. that let, let people we're have, already there low key. we're already there low key but let people have fucking fun please stop recording people having a good time even if they, their dancing doesn't bang leave them to have not banging dancing mm-hmm. it's not cute mm-hmm. but let's talk about the most sexiest names according to the bad boys and girls C-R-X-X-A said the most sexiest oh, name, the name for her I said is Ezekiel. See how I said it sexily, so it can... Ezekiel. Ezekiel, was there I not a person in the Bible sexy. named Ezekiel? Yeah. That one's giving me Ten no. Commandments vibe. That's giving me <laughs> church drama. Yeah. That's not but well, that's very well like, behaved. If you close your eyes and think Ezekiel... I think it could give something. No, when you said Ezekiel, I imagine somebody really fine. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of like somebody fine. Yeah. Ezekiel is a is a sexy yeah. boy's name. That's true. That's true. That's true. Ezekiel, <laughs> I'm seeing light skin, green eyes, oh, wow. curly hair. Um, I was seeing dark skin, nice you. smile. That's what I was. Dark like. skin, Colgate yeah. teeth. Dark skin Ezekiel? Ezekiel doesn't give light skin. It doesn't give light skin. It gives no beard. It gives dark skin. It gives skin no beard, teeth, yeah. No Whoa, beard. I'm nice trim. Weird. Maybe waves. I was thinking a little high top. Yeah, okay. I, know, I yeah. hate high tops, but a little bit of waves raised. Mm. Like we had two different. Uh, no, we had the same. You're not run. moving in yeah. sync. Mm-hmm. Oh, she said light skin, green eyes, curly hair. Like, oh, girl, no. <laughs> Give me another name. Okay. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see what you guys are on. So we got the next sexiest name, most sexiest name, Marcel. That one. I don't and like that too much. Fuck. What? <laughs> that, that sounds fine as fuck. You know that what? one I'm seeing dark skin. I'm oh not seeing dark skin. I'm not seeing dark skin, B. I'm seeing I'm seeing the light skin boys that used to bully me at school. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. The pretty I'm seeing a pretty actually no, I'm not seeing dark skin and mixed race either. Marcel. I'm seeing yellow. Marcel. I'm seeing a browning boy. Marcel does not give uh, Marcel on. I'm seeing um like you know those Caribbean men that are a bit brown. Marcel, I'm seeing somebody light skin, not just because they're light skin, but light skin because they're half white. Okay. Like they don't Mm-mm. give. You know what I'm seeing? You, you know, remember we were watching that movie? What was it? Girls Trip? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where that nigga was just fine. But you know, Girls Ooh. Trip. Mm-hmm. Who you was know, Girls Trip? The one who was fucking with in the movie. What's her name? What's Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith's man in the movie. I Look it up. That's what he I'm was I fine. I didn't imagine him at all, though. That's Nothing even came me. to my mind at first. I had to think really hard about a Marcel. That was what I'm seeing, Marcel. Marcel, Marcel was given light skin. Not, Marcel was definitely Jamaican. He's Caribbean. And he's a fuck boy. In that case, Minawant. Minawant. <laughs> okay, Campbell next Campbell. sexiest name. It's not Precious Tenewe. Big up you, Precious. Says Michael. Yeah. They're not gonna lie. All the boys I know that are called Michael are sexy. Yeah. Michael can get it. Michael, yeah. I like Michael that. Michael can get it. My ex was called Michael. He was whoo, not he too was much. About, he was about, yeah, sorry. I would never admit that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Not an ex. laughs> yeah, not too much. Yeah, she's a really bad bitch. Yeah, he was Yeah. Michael. It was okay. <laughs> he was okay. <laughs> he was okay. Michael's smiling her shit while Yeah, Michael's like, that? what? Can we get back together actually? No, yeah. we cannot ever <laughs> to the day I die. The day I die. Mm-hmm. So most sexiest man. Oh mama Salah said Peniel. Peniel? Is that a girl's name? Peniel? Peniel. That sounds Italian. Do you know the perineum? No. The little area between your your vagina and your butthole? That's the perineum and that's what that sounds like. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? Wait, <laughs> wait what? <laughs> <laughs> or penile. Wait, why do you know that? Penile? It's P-E-N-I-E. Is someone trying to fucking fuck with me? I used to be on my way to being a doctor. Is someone, oh, yeah. is someone fucking with me? P- what if that, what if that was a joke? Penile sounds a little bit like pe- something penis related. So it actually is a name. Oh my penile? God. If you name your child penile, you don't love them. It's called face. Is It means the face of God. Penile? Penile. 
pen, pen, okay, pen I'm pen saying penile. Is, is it, it penile? Penile sounds Italian to penil. me. Penile. Penile though. Penile sounds bad. It's crazy. What is it? Penil. Penil. Pen. Do you know what the name is? Just fucking dead. Sorry. It's just. You awful. see, you shouldn't be. Confused. In any I'm capacity, so sorry if yeah. I offended anybody with what I just said. In any capacity, it's it's not a great name. The fact pen, that it's started up. Penil. Could, penile. Yeah. Penile is not banking. I'm sorry. That it's an easily isn't. bullyable name. Easily bully. Do you know what? Yeah. Oh, that's the problem, isn't it? Like, I feel like you need to have a name that like you can't like the kids can't remix the kids can't <laughs> that one's remixable that one's so remixable but to a dubstep type B Afrobeat type mm. B you can put it to anything you want to put it to P now is getting bullied let's go <laughs> <laughs> next one is sexiest name we're going to sexiest name someone said Joyce thank you but hey, don't be yeah. you know I was gonna say that is Joyce a sexy name it is but it, and it's also a little bit timeless like you could be Joyce as a two-year-old, you can be Joyce as an old woman. My name is actually Joyce Ann. I have a double barrel name. Joyce Ann? Yeah. Oh That's God. cute. You say my name is so nice. Really? <laughs> you like Joyce Ann? <laughs> yeah, Joyce Ann. I've got a double barrel name, but people just people oh, are just I lazy. Oh, I knew a girl named Josie Ann. No. Which, no? <laughs> she said it didn't sound that good. It's not the same. That, that, yeah. It's not the same. I I'm going to take names. one more. Somebody said most sexy name, Remy. For Remy could be boy and girl. Yeah. Right? I, I do like also it. think of right about a two week, but oh my god, the little gulp. <laughs> but Remy is a cute name. I think it's a cute name. A I don't think name. I'd say it's a sexy name. It's not, no, it's not sexy. sexy. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah. I don't think it's a sexy name. It's cute. But a lot of do you know what a lot of people said is a least sexy name? Hmm. Gilbert. Oh yeah. Gilbert and Gertrude is probably the. The, the two names that people like, this name has no sex appeal to Gilbert it. could save it by saying his nickname was Gil. No. No, he could save it by saying his nickname was Gil. I'm also thinking about Monster High, but <laughs> he could save it a little bit. Gertrude, though, there's no coming back from that. Gertrude? Gertrude. I used to be a, a, a CNA. So I used to be in the, What's in the nursing, certified nursing assistant. Like you, you the patients you wash them. You oh my god! I used them. to do that in the care home. Exactly. <laughs> I used to be all up in there. Can I just say something? I told that I told you lot. All the bad bees have done care. Period. I've told you. It was all up in that booty hole. <laughs> Literally, <it> <laughs> if you wasn't wiping, if you haven't wiped a bum in your life, you're not a bad bee. Just get the fuck out. <laughs> you don't know. Carry I on, was sister. in that, and I had so many Gertrudes. I had so many Gertrude. Some that of them are long live Gertrude. I love you, girl. One Some love. of them are gone, but there was a lot of Gertrudes in there. But they were getting it on, like in the in the nursing home. In your nursing home, would would they would they mess around with each other? The thing is, yeah, the nursing homes <laughs> that I no. I say it PG. But one thing I say, one thing I always say, you know, men will never change, even in their ninety years. And I remember that there's one. There was one guy, yeah. That had dementia, and I caught him. He, this guy's like ninety-seven. I caught him with another woman, with another woman. And he's gonna blame it on the dementia. And they were no, they both had dementia. They're gonna they, blame it on the dementia. But they both were, you know, they both were like touching each other, like were really they inappropriate. No, they were just two people in the care home with dementia. They're gonna blame it on niggas and shit for life. No, They're, for no, for life. What? And there was another care home that there was another care home that I worked at. That again, this this these two people with dementia, we found them in the room, and the guy had removed his poo poo pad and his. I helped you there, and left it on the floor. We don't know what happened, but she had poo on her hands. He girl, it was a whole a freaky situation. Mess. It was a it was a freaky but situation. But there's poo yeah. included. They were getting it in. No, you but there was poo included. Yeah, there yeah. was definitely poo included. We were just like, you're too old for this. You're too old to even be knowing this. The way there was in in my nursing home, there was a guy who who he was on the he was on the nursing home side. Mm -hmm. Then there was another. There was like a uh, what's it called when it's even more intense care. Uh, there's no oh, assisted living, assisted and living. then, oh, then oh, yeah, the I nursing. was on assisted living. And oh, his lucky. and his yeah, I was not trying to do all that. I was like 17. Mm -hmm. But then the um his wife lived on the other side, and his wife, as in wife with ring in front mm -hmm. of, until death was part in front of God. You made that promise. He was fucking some bitch on the on the assisted living side, and I was the only one who was there with me. Some days I would come to administer medication to him. They're jumping on the bed like, how? But how is it still working at night? Oh, night hers yet? was working. And if you see her in the hallway when you're taking her to go get food at dinner time, 
She can't even walk. Hunchback. Sometimes, <laughs> I, sometimes, sometimes I look at her, I'm like, get up. I saw you all up in the, get up. You know how to, you literally know how to walk real, Girl, real bad. Up. She was walking down the corner with the zipper frame shaking, she but she was throwing it back to, uh, <laughs> to uh, Gerald. Thank you. I'm crying. Like, I to, when I see her walking, I'm like, girl, you was doing a whole, when I walked in the room, you was doing a lot. Now, you was doing maybe, a lot more. Maybe it was him who broke her back. Maybe, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm See, being a CNA is real crazy though, because I don't remember if I heard this story from you or from somebody else. But somebody was wiping somebody's ass, and it was it was a black girl wiping. Was it you, wiping an old white man's ass or an old white woman's ass? Was that you? It's, I'm shaking from the trauma. Oh God! <laughs> and they were like, they, "What did they say to you?" They said something said, crazy. I was wiping. I was wiping his bumba, right? And then he said, he looked at me, he giggled, he was like, "Back to the old times." Am I right? <laughs> I said. <laughs> <laughs> back to the olden times he just said yeah the thing is in America I feel like in American nursing homes and everything like that it's like a normal thing like they, they used to say racist shit to me all the time oh no in the UK they're very fucking racist they're very yeah. they're, no they, they can be racist I remember one time and this was in assisted living and basically this woman was she loves to ask questions she goes oh so where are you from and I'm like yeah London she goes she was like what do your parents do and obviously I made one, I decided to make, decide to make a wild ass story. And I told them, yeah, my, my parents, like, they fucking have like, t- they're in property and they have like 200 houses and stuff. Period. And she was like, oh yeah, is that, is that a money laundering front? Now if I push they you out of your chair. They do. They act like you, they don't have their, I have my, your livelihood in my hand. So if I flip you in the shower. <laughs> Forget that you're what there. You what are you gonna do what about you gonna it? Do? You're not gonna do anything. You're gonna sit no, there and you're gonna scream and cry, and that's all you're gonna do. You know do. what I'm doing? And then you have dementia. You will not even remember that I did it yeah. to you. I will just. I will put. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fucking. I will just will you to the corner. I will <laughs> make you face, will, the face the wall. The wall. I will lock your wheelchair. And I will go. Let's see who's gonna find. Let's see how long someone's gonna come find you. I'll Back in the old days is really crazy. I would have pushed him in the bathtub. <laughs> what? I think it's also what do you mean scary. by that? I don't know if you ever used to be scared. Those people are scary. Sometimes they can, because there was this one lady who I, uh, I was her nurse, and she, she couldn't do anything, really. Mm-hmm. She couldn't do anything. Yeah. So it's like, I've never seen you lift a finger, ma'am. So then she comes in. I remember, like, the first, like, week of her being there, I was hearing about her. I was hearing her, because they give you that paperwork mm-hmm. that tells you what they're capable of. Da-da-da. Yeah, that She's capable easy. of nothing. So then I go to her room, and I'm like, uh, I'm going to, this is, like, my first, like, couple months of me working at the CNA, so I didn't really know how to approach a new patient. Mm-hmm. But I was like, you know what? Listen. I'm going to do it myself. Don't worry. You don't got to prep me nothing. I'm just going to do it myself. She was sitting in the corner of the room. And then she, like, she was sitting. It was, like, dark room. Only, like, a little bit of the curtain open. It looked scary. And I promise you, I opened the door. And I said, hi, my name is Stacey Thiru. I'm going to do it. <laughs> the shorty turned back around in the most exorcist type of way. <laughs> she turned back. And she, she literally looked back at me and screamed, get the fuck out. And then spin her chair around and started wheeling fast as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know the room is dark. It's brown. It's grays around everything. And then she's a she's pale. She literally said, "Get the fuck out!" So I, was, so I was, what am I supposed to do? I literally slammed the door in her face. I heard her wheelchair hit the door. Because I don't, and I ran. I don't care. I, and then, and then I, now I'm seeing you at dinner time. All this stuff. I'm seeing you, and you're just like this. That is fucking. You're smiling a mess. at me. You're smiling at me at dinner time as if you didn't just harass me with your, your vocal cords. No, she cords. was possessed. No, nobody, she was, nobody knew, but she, she was possessed. possessed. Hey, you know, no, I didn't, she I was possessed. Seen sometimes, sometimes they be possessed. Though, yeah. I can't even lie. No, nursing home job is not for the week. That it's not for the week. It's actually not. Shout out to the people who do it. I personally used to never. Big up all the hate CAs in the Bamba Club place. It's CNT, baby. It's good that I have my US girlies here because this week the US and UK Twitter went up in arms when a woman claims that Europeans don't tip. She complained that a table with a $700 bill only tipped 70 instead of the 20%. I want to know what you're... So basically, in, in Lame's term, couple British people go to the United States of America. They spend 700 dollars and they tip 70 dollars mm-hmm. which is 10 percent of the total bill mm-hmm. sister was angry because they didn't tip 20 percent of the bill which is 140 quick maths so there's now a divide between the us and the uk people tipping culture is now a conversation 
I've never had this conversation with a US girlie, with the US girlies. Mm -hmm. And I want to know what your opinion is on tipping culture and this specific incident. I I feel like... (laughs) Go ahead. I feel like when it comes to tipping, tipping is not mandatory. And I think people get that confused sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's... It, it's a, it's like a thank you for doing what you did today. It's yeah. like that type of thing, yeah? So if you... Some some people... Like I've had some servers who will be absolutely shit at their job. Rude. Mm-hmm. They'll come. They won't even they won't even be checking on you. They do the, what, what the bare minimum. They'll take your order, walk away. They won't come check on you ever again. It's like mm-hmm. you didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Then you're the same one who's mad because I didn't give you the tip. Like, and my you don't is, really deserve... Yeah, the tip, tip is not a... Med- if it was mandatory, it would be part of the original bill, but it's not. Mm-hmm. Facts. I'm, I tip based on the same thing. Like, if you, I'll tip you even maybe forty percent if you were a really Thank good you. person. Like, you took my order, you came, you checked on me. If I said, "Oh, this didn't taste okay," you took it back, you fixed it for me. Like, yeah, I'm gonna give you a good tip. But if you did jack shit, what do you need twenty percent tip for? And it'd be, it'd be the same as like you know when you order coffee at Starbucks and then they turn that thing around and, and ask for a tip. You. you didn't they do look anything. At you. They sit there and they're like. You didn't do anything. Didn't you don't do deserve anything. a tip. And they look at you so sideways when you hit no, no. tip. No. <laughs> what did you do? No. Didn't do anything. Uh-uh. Question. Double advocate. So you guys are saying, depending on the service you provide, you will, mm-hmm. that you give, you will tip. I will. Maybe I'll tip like ten dollars because out of decency, because that's a thing we always tip yeah, in America. Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. I'm not going to tip you over ten percent if you didn't do anything that deserved over ten percent. So if they do it, mm-hmm. you will give them the tip. Yeah. Yeah. I never not tip for real. Mm-hmm. I never. I don't think I, I've ever really like. Just the only time I don't tip is if I literally tip. order a drink at like like McDonald's, McDonald's or no. Starbucks, and then they ask for a tip. It's like you quite literally poured that drink in the cup, <laughs> and that was it. Like you don't need a tip for what you just did. That's the only time that I yeah. don't tip. Here they don't be tipping. Every every place we we've gone to, like we went to like the Jamaican spot we we're talking mm-hmm. about, and the the guy who managed the Jamaican spot, he was like working the front, like what's that person called, a hostess? Mm-hmm. And he did such a good job. He was talking to us, like he gave me my drink at the door while I was waiting for my for my table. Mm-hmm. I was, I, no, I wanted to give him all my money. So when the bill came, I tipped him like 50% of the bill. Just to come to find out, he was not our waiter. The waiter did not come at all. She mm-hmm. came at the end to come pick up my card. So at the end, I um she's mad smiling. After she charged my card for 50% tip, she's smiling, running all around. I was like, what? And I yeah, asked, I, so I, yeah, she came and told me that the tip went to her. I said, wow, oh my father, my God. Then this man, I literally called him over. I said, sir, the tip that I just put down, yeah, can you make sure it goes to you by the end of the day? And he told me he's the manager, like, just let her have it. It's fine. I lit- you don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. You didn't do anything. I don't even know who you are. So mm-hmm. here's the thing. This is when us British people come in with, into this conversation. Our culture is not to tip. Generally, our culture is just I've ne- until I moved until I started, you know, talking to American people is when the conversation of tipping comes. Mm-hmm. We have what people call a minimum wage here, and it's a relatively higher than what is in the UK. What's the minimum wage? I think it's like excuse me, guys, I've not worked full time in a while. It's <laughs> it's eight pounds nine. <laughs> It's pounds. eight pound ninety, or it's like nine pound something. It's eight pound or nine pound. That's the minimum wage. Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this right. Okay, Google Don't Google flog Google. me. Minimum wage. Yeah. So for someone that's twenty three and over, it's nine pound fifty. An hour. An hour. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> guys, this is weakening the argument. Yeah. So what's yours? I, yours my little sister gets paid like that. seventeen an hour. Like seventeen American dollars, which is like an hour. Sixteen pounds right now, I think. The conversion. Wait, hold on. So wait, I thought your minimum wage was like three dollars. That was what? in 1962. <laughs> so your minimum wage now is seventeen dollars. I'm googling it right now. I think now. it's different for every state, but like when I was when I used to work a regular job, I used to get paid like twenty three dollars an hour. Oh, it's different in every state. And I was a 16-year-old. So what's the median range? It says 725, but I don't know anybody who gets paid that amount. 725? I've not heard that. Anymore. I've not heard it's, that. It's, it's normally like 12. 12 and up. So here's the thing. I don't know about the different girl. My argument is just reducing. But to be honest, we don't, in, in the UK, we don't tip. We usually get a minimum wage or, you know, that's the minimum wage. And then we, some people do tip, but it's not part of our culture. It's not mandatory. People, some people do tip and they're like, okay, here you go. 
or and then I think we have a 20% additional service charge that I don't think even goes to the waiters to be honest I think it just goes to the business now in America what I find very fascinating is I do respect that you should definitely be open to blessing people giving people tips I think it's fab I think I'm I'm for it I'm I'm for people celebrating people for doing good work mm -hmm. Now, what's irritating about American people, some American people, let me not overgeneralize before they come and flog me, is that it <laughs> seems to me out there is a non-mandatory, mandatory thing. Yeah. 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 It's that, like they start to, like, it's, again, it's not part of the, if it was part of the bill, the initial bill, they would have put it in the initial bill. They did not put it in the initial bill. So it's not part of the initial I bill. I didn't have to give it to you. Now you're tweaking. Me and my sister you. went to a restaurant one time and the servers were so rude. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, it, like I asked for cheese on my food. That bitch fucking, she put a slice of American cheese on my food. I was like, that is not the cheese that I asked for. Like, she was just being rude. Rude, yeah. For no reason. So when we finished eating, we did not tip. Mm -hmm. You didn't do anything that deserved a tip, Miss Girl. So we leave. This woman chased us outside and said, "You you forgot to tip." And my sister was like, "I didn't forget to tip. I didn't tip you. You didn't do anything that deserved a tip." That type of stuff is crazy to yeah. me because if if you guys if it's supposed to be like a gift, it's not mandatory. That feels like mandatory to me. It's not supposed to, to be though. Run, run out like you ran out of your little high heels to come out to tell me I forgot to tip. But it's not forced. It's not. It seems they're forced. Entitled. They're entitled. It seems very entitled yeah, to they're me. Entitled. Now, in this specific situation with the seven hundred pound, I'm sorry, in no fucking way. It doesn't. I spent seven hundred pound. Me and my girls collectively spent hundred seven hundred pound. Why would I spend an additional hundred and forty pound? Uh, dollars and give it to somebody regardless of if they did a good job or not. 70 you know is enough. Crazy? But the, you know what's crazy? 70 to some me people, is even crazy. Some people, are, some people see it as like, like, almost like, so you came here with only $700? You, you definitely spent a big buck in this club. You have a little bit more to give to the person who helped you out. Well, what's your business? Like, nah, what's <laughs> your business? Like, sis, even if, even if, if 700 pounds is all I bought, and so what? It's my money. Yeah. What I choose to do with my money is not dependent on you. Like, why yeah. would I Why would I spend money and not spend it to accommodate for somebody else because they feel entitled? Mm. To, like, it proper spins me. Like, yeah. some of the tweets were like, girl, I would just go to the kitchen and grab the food myself if that's <laughs> the case. The thing is, some of them, there's some waiters who come to my table and they do, hey, I want to give them my credit card number. You take it. You do what you want to do. You buy yourself a house. Because they're just so like, how can I help you? What do I do? Da, da, da. Like, they're just so happy. And I'm like, I, I love you. I'm going to give you like the same amount as the bill. I'm going to tip you that. Then it's like, that is that takes away this, the spirit of entitlement. The ones who are entitled to be rude. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't do anything to They didn't do anything it. and then they're entitled on top of that. Yeah, so I think it's the entitlement where they get it twisted. And the ones who are entitled are also daft. May I interrupt? Of course. Can I have a beverage? Of course you can. <laughs> Apple juice. Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, honestly, yeah, I feel like this is the <coughs> second time that somebody has broken their fast on the show, guys. We are in the pro we are in the middle of Ramadan. Happy Ramadan, everybody. That's is that the right way to say it? Yeah, Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Mubarak. <laughs> <laughs> big up all the fasting girl there. Big up you. Big up, big up, big up. This is the second. I, I, you know what? I'm so for some reason I find it very so nice having sharing that experience with with somebody just to be like, yeah, you know, breaking the fast on the show and stuff. How is fasting going? I always find it so fascinating. You know what? Go on. Fasting in the UK is so much easier because the sun sets at 6.30. In America at this time, the sun doesn't set till 8.30. Oh, really? So when I'm in America, I have to fast Longer. until 8.30. Because the, the, the days here, because it's not, because the sun doesn't respect us in this, in this <laughs> <At all>. atmosphere, <laughs> the days are shorter. <laughs> Yeah. The days will be short. No, yeah. this, bro, this made me want to just come here every Ramadan. You're telling me it's this easy? Yeah. I'm you coming just, back you know, here. Woke up, what, four hours I just ago? woke up four hours ago. <laughs> and people at home are like, girl. And I'm traveling. So normally it's like you wake up at four in the morning, you mm -hmm. pray, you start your fast. Then mm -hmm. you wake up in the, like whatever morning time you wake up. Noon, you pray again. Afternoon, you pray again. And then sun sets, you pray. And then when the sun fully sets, you pray. I'm traveling. So I get to put my prayers together. So it's like, this is so easy. This is so simple. So, 
Is it so? What do you mean by you have to put your prayers together? Because since I'm traveling, I could pray all my prayers at the normal time. But mm-hmm. since I'm traveling, it's not mandatory. I'm allowed to pray the first prayer and the second prayer together, the second prayer and the third prayer together, and then to pray the last prayer. Okay, fab. Yeah. So she's like, well. So it's like, this is not that easy. <laughs> I'm gonna come here every time. I love it. Do you know what? One thing I love about this uh, this period for Muslim people is that it's done together. I think that's fab. I think that's fabulous. I feel like. Anyways, let me not talk so much because people are going to get upset. But I think it's fab. I think it's fab. And, and big up all the girlies who are fasting at the moment. Yeah, shouldn't really be watching this show during fasting, but you can watch it in the evening. <laughs> no, I'm joking, no. we're, we're on our best behavior. We are on our best behavior today, I promise. We are really on our best behavior. But yes, girlies, without further ado, I would love to introduce our guests. Before I do that, make sure you guys use the hashtag, hashtag CNT podcast on Twitter because I love hearing what you guys have to say. But without further ado, I would love to introduce our guests. I feel like I love when the US girlies come out to play. It's a different flavor. <laughs> it's a different scene. It's a different energy. We just love it when they're motherfucking here. <laughs> so this week we have some very beautiful ladies with us in the studio Thank today you. they are content creators flashing 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 <laughs> they're not flashing <laughs> but they are fashion girlies <laughs> and all round it girls all the way from the united states of america and where my uncle 50 cents resides <laughs> it's motherfucking stacy and layla woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's a titty <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we have to be right how are you ladies we are good we're in the his house we in the um okay <laughs> <laughs> that was not cool what? she was like no girl no how are you how is your trip how are you finding tell me the energy what's the vibe what's the vibe Talk can i can i say something go on interesting about the way you guys decided to build your roads Oh no, go on. So in America, we have a grid system Mm -hmm. where the roads go like this Mm -hmm. and (laughs) and then then like like this this. and then like this. And you guys, they all, they're just like. I hate you guys' roads. What? Proper spins me. Listen. It's like, why am I on Alberta Avenue 20 minutes down the. 20 minutes later, I'm still on Alberta Uh, Avenue. 40 minutes later, I'm still. I said, this is a long ass motherfucking road. Because that's that, that's that road. Yeah, that's that. And the road that crosses it. Could be Leonardo Avenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like... <laughs> like the thing is, here is, like... It's, it's, so, it's confusing. so confusing. Like, the other day, I left the house, and I, I, I wanted to be on my, like... What is it called? Like, off-the-grid girl... Sh- do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was yeah, just trying to, like, shit, yeah. put my put my phone away. And normally in America, if I were to leave my house, if I, I know if I walk four blocks this way and two blocks this way, I can as well walk four blocks this way and two blocks this way to get back home. Mm-hmm. Here... It's you walk four blocks this way and two blocks that way, and then when you start and going you this walk. way, suddenly the road is going this way, and you end up forty <laughs> minutes away from home. Thank you. Like, and you're in Amsterdam. Like <laughs> what? I don't get it. I really it's do not truly get this confusing. Shit. I I was walking around the other night by myself, and I was like, I haven't gotten to my destination. Like I haven't. Like I left the place, went to go get a monster because they were only serving alcohol, and I was like, I need to go get something non-alcoholic. Mm-hmm. I come back and I'm like, where am I? And I look at the maps. I'm forty minutes in the wrong direction. In the wrong direction. I was like, it's, how did I get listen, here? Some of us want to get lost, okay? Some <laughs> Honestly, of us like an I would adventure. Get lost. I don't want to get I lost. If I lived here, I would want to get lost. No, if I lived here, I would want to go to a different place. I love place. London. That's why you guys are always in. You guys are, um, you know, I'm going Malta. You know, I'm going. You guys are always, you guys are never here. Whenever I go on vacation, it's full of people from the UK, 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 UK. No, because you, you can't be here for too long. It's very depressing. Yes. That's the problem. Do you know what's so mad? I was, I, I have two friends. These, I have George and Moyo. I don't know if you guys know Moyo. But Moyo r- runs away from this country constantly. Like, I think he told, he came on the show and he said that he traveled about 50 times last year, like to 50 different locations. I would too. He said, I hate being in this country. And a lot of people do feel like that. It's like, we can't get enough of it, but we need to have it in doses. It, doses. Obviously, I can't leave because I, I have work and I'm a bit of a workaholic. But I feel like if I wasn't, I'd be, I'd be out the door. This place is depressing. We need sun. My melanin's kind. It's too cold. It's a bit much. Me personally, Every day, I'm turning up. The, the, the issue Brick is, buildings? <laughs> you said you love it. <laughs> the gloominess? It's giving Harry Potter. No, it's giving Harry Potter. It's giving 
Hunger Games District 12. No, that's it's, it's, giving, it's giving that Chuck, Charlie and Chocolate, Chocolate Factory. Chocolate Factory. You know when they were first oh, when before it. he started before he got the golden ticket he was in Coop Up. It's giving Charlie. We looked out the window of our Airbnb and I it fully looks like District 12 outside. <laughs> Everything oh, is man. gray. The buildings are all made out of bricks. Every single one of them are made out of bricks. Like I feel like there was crows. Cute. Yeah, mad yeah. crows. I was like, what is going on? You make it sound like a horror movie. The this thing way. is, <laughs> it's just not. When I go on vacation, I like like I'm wearing a bikini. I'm mm-hmm. on the beach. I'm burning up in the sun. Mm-hmm. That's what I like for vacation. You will never find here. Mm-hmm. You will that. never find that aesthetic here, even if it's hot. You're not gonna come here and wear a bikini. It's not that type of party ever. I'm seeing that. But it's the thing not. is, it's her type of party. So for her, I will. Don't worry. This is your aesthetic. Yeah. You just love it dark and dingy. Yeah. Like she could. I don't think she could come on the vacations I go on. I wouldn't be able to because I can't wear a bikini. But even if You're you didn't gonna, wear a bikini and yeah. sat in the sun, you wouldn't want to do that either. So the it, sun, it bro. Every day, me and her live in an apartment. We share an apartment. We wake up in the morning. Shorty's opening up every blind, every window. The sun is shining. I'm literally like, what? Like, I can't do it. Like, and I I'm in my it. room. Like, her room is so bright, and my room is dark. She like, has a poster on the window. So that no sun comes in. To open it you up. You must have loved right. it in LA, though, because I had it. The first, the, the beginning of the year was very the, the same. It was given London. Mm-hmm. It was raining. It was snowing. It was dark and dingy. Like, it wasn't cute, because that's when I went. That's when you went. I went when it was raining, and I was like, this is, this is, I also wanted to be in a binkini. And I wanted to be half naked. <laughs> I'm wearing a jacket. Why am I wearing a jacket for? That's Damn, not cute. You came at the wrong time. I yeah. came at the wrong time. You were supposed to be time. in Africa. That to December, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time, mama. Stop, listen. <laughs> Let me say something. Wait, 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 wait. You bought a ticket to LA during Dirty December and went to LA instead? No, I went, okay, I went to LA was, in January. <clears throat> she was in LA when I was in Ghana. Cause you know she was there for time. She did dirty December and, and jumped dirty in January. January as well. she, did, she did jump in January. She was there for time. <laughs> Gonna want to kick me out. She was I there for go. a time. But guys, I pro- let me not promise. I might. I, I want to do. I'm gonna do dirty December. You fuck will it, do it. it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. You, have I, you to know. Do. I, I said this last year. I can't lie. Everyone's looking at me sad. Eye. Anyone that watches this show often is looking at me like sad. The thing eye. is, I'm gonna force an enjoyment upon you. I really want to go. I really want to go. I think I should finally fucking do it and be Would serious you go about it. Nigeria, December I'll do or the both. Ghana, I'll do the both. Okay. Double, double trouble. Mm-hmm. I don't mind. I don't mind doing one, one week there, next week there, wherever, wherever the movement is. Or one month and one month. Or one month or one. Oh God, even the sound of that is giving me anxiety. You just have to pre-record. Pre-record, Shorty. We Life feel stops there. for no one. Just go. People no, can do cocktail takeaways pe- next. Guys, are you happy for me to take two months off with no cocktail Say takeaways? Yes. Say are you yes. happy to if I me know, personally? She has I'm to go s- drink a cocktail me in somewhere else. You know, <laughs> I would I would pre-record, and then while you're there, you just post them. Guys, are you happy for me to pre-record for two months? They actually they will not. Do you know these lot? They actually enjoyment. They're actually very bad vibes. <laughs> to be honest, the ones that watch the watch. <laughs> <laughs> What? No, they wouldn't let me go for two weeks. I wouldn't want to go for two weeks. I wouldn't want to not have an episode for like two months. Mm. Pre-record. Or I would recording Ghana. There. Recording I think Ghana. I would record in Ghana. The, Everybody's going to be there. Like me. Yeah. I would do some recordings in Ghana and have it lined up. That's what I would do mm. if they if they have a good podcast studio and stuff because you know some people's podcast studios is not banking. Yeah, you can definitely find some. Like, I feel like sometimes people look at Africa and think it's just like, you know, Skinta Skanta. But it's I'm, like they had some bougie ass. It's not what for me? Cute. Skinta Skanta. Like, Skinta Skanta. I like that. Anything, any, anyhow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like it. But they had they some cute places. There's some cute places. You could just set up a little camera, set up a little ring light, Boots. cocktails and takeaways. In Boots. Lagos. Listen, we might have to. Dirty December, maybe we have, we're have going to take a tour. We're going to take a trip. Right, guys, speaking of tours, obviously we have our live show coming up, which I'm very fucking excited about, guys. I've probably dropped the announcement in the beginning of this episode, but if not, we have finally got a date. It is going to be the 5th of July. Do you know what? It's giving very US, you know, US themed. So, uh, what is it? What's, what's, no, the 4th of July, sorry. Imagine, mm. I don't even know the date. The 4th of July. <laughs> what day is your thing? The 4th of July. Please, they're celebrating. Yeah, so we're celebrating American independence. Is that what it is? Red, 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 and blue. My bad. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, no, that it is. is. It the is. Independence Day. Independence Day. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we're going to be celebrating Independence Day here for the live show, guys. Make sure you get your tickets. It's going to be in the description somewhere. 4th of July, O2 Indigo. It's going to be fucking boots. Are you nervous? I'm very... Na- Do you know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm fucking shitting bricks, bro. <laughs> shitting bricks. Oh, me too. I feel like you got it. I feel like you're such a... You're such a conversationalist. I, like, it actually baffles me the fact that you can literally put anybody at the end of this table and just have a conversation with them. I just you love talking that. to people. Yeah, I'm you so, got it, though. Can I just say, Thando, I, this is the hair colour that I wanted for this week. Uh, Fucking fabulous. It's like, re- it looks so good on thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm a fan. I wanted, to get, I wanted to go red, but obviously I didn't have time to dye the wig. So we just uh, go. I didn't have time to dye. This Did one you? came this colour. Where is it from? Oh, I wish no, I just, sh- don't tell them. Just link it you to You know, me. I just... You know when you know when you just kind of get them and then you just you just yeah you like no worries yeah. <laughs> and then they're in the email talking about when is the shh shut up shut up <laughs> and then they see me on Instagram posting it they're like you didn't pay for the promo shut up or you pay me ten dollars you actually girl anyways yeah, listen if you don't get it forget it <laughs> no, if you don't get it I'll forget send it, it to you if I find it in my email I'll send it to you yeah I need this wig is let me not say this wig this hair is boots I, I grew it from this girl yes you did it looks like it girl thank you. Do you know what? Yeah, I I actually respect the ladies that can just glue a wig together. Sister girls, that like, girl, I don't know. You have very long hair, I believe, naturally. Yeah, kinda, yeah. Sure, See, has I, a I, I don't mohawk know what... on this side, rainbow on this side. <laughs> I feel like were you were you always wearing a hijab? Yeah, like since I was like six. I don't know why it's weird. I feel like I've seen your real hair. Maybe it's not you. She's like, girl, well, all Somalis look alike, so... She's like, girl, it's not me. Wrong it's definitely bitch. not me. <laughs> Wrong girl. You know, people be trying to find shit of me, and there's nothing there to I find. There's, anything there's the nothing. Yeah, like, if you Google my name, it always comes up with Leila Qasim, no hijab. And I'm like, you're not going to find anything. There's nothing for you to find. That's so I've been strange. wearing this since I was, like, six years old. And what is the... What is, out of curiosity, what is the reasoning? What does the hijab mean? Because, honestly, I don't... I actually have never asked, so just out of curiosity. I don't want to be wrong, I don't want nobody to tell me that I'm incorrect. But well, for your for, for yourself, me, it's for modesty. Mm-hmm. Um, also, because I've been wearing it for so long, it just feels weird to not have it on. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the main purpose is for modesty. Like it's like so like people can't like sexualize you or something along the lines of that. But it's like people sexualize us anyway, so it doesn't even make a difference. I don't want to say too <laughs> much. I feel like I'm incorrect. I just be wearing it. My mom told me to put it on. I put it on. I like it. <laughs> I, I think it's fab. I, I always say <laughs> modest fashion. The hijabi girls are fucking killing. There's a girl on. There's a girl on TikTok. She's a black girl from the UK. I don't know this I girl's think I know name. What you're talking about. She's tall. She's dark skinned. Dark skinned. Yeah, ah, this down. girl can dress. <laughs> I don't know. Who is this? I don't know her name. She like she she like she literally see like a, a dress on like Fashion Nova and it's like so like I'm and it's, say it's slutty. explicit. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of like slutty. Sis could turn a prostitution dress and make and it then modest. She'll just, but you will not see no ounce of skin. Not, not an a, and she makes it fab. Yeah. Like the yeah. girl can dress. Yeah. I always say the hijabi girls is always dressing like the bad bees that they can dress. Yeah. But that black girl big up her because mm-hmm. I've watched a couple. I've, yeah. I always see on my for you page, I wish I and she had like this PLT dress. Imagine it was even I can't even remember the dress. It was, but I was, it was like it was low. low, and I was like sister with your hijab. Be like, what are you gonna do with this dress? But I need she, to like, see this girl's like. Oh, oh, next time I see, I'm gonna send it to you. Okay. Okay. Like a turtleneck, neck lay. She layered it. Everything fabulous. Yeah, the she girl looks. With the layers. Boots. Yeah. She, she killed it. She killed it. She killed it. <laughs> the hijab girls are doing better than mm. the than the than us. Who are showing our, our, our <laughs> prostitutes? Us prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> we try. We try. But yeah, I love that. No, big up you. Cocktails and takeaways. I want to talk to you about the word of the week this week. So the word of the week that we have this week is rest. So sometimes in a world of hustle and bustle, we barely have time to rest. Our generation is glamorized, has glamorized being constantly booked and busy and having a fast paced lifestyle, which leaves little to no room to actually live. Life is about balance. So make sure you are scheduling in time to do nothing. And the quote of the week is from Sir Ravi Shanakar. I believe, no, Sir Sri Ravi Shanakar. And it says, wisdom is knowing when to rest, when to have activity and how much of each to have. 
So how do you guys rest? How do you guys from your, I know you guys are busy, you are content creators, you are hustle and bustle, always on the go. How do you take time to chill? I feel like I take time to chill. Mm -hmm. I feel like you do not take time to chill. I feel like I, I enjoy being in my own space. I like, I like, I like not seeing anybody. I like staying in my room. I like reading my Bible. Nowadays wow. I've been a Bible girly. Shout out to all the Bible girlies. Period. Boots. Period. Um, and I and I like to like dedicate like a certain like the beginning portion of my day to that, and then the rest of my day is just like smooth when I'm just like you know like I move my mm -hmm. own pace. Then I just I don't like going out. Like just time for myself. And then this is my roommate. Who? <laughs> it's just every at the door. Stacy, there's a party. Stacy, I'm going to Stacy. I don't feel like you don't ever sleep. I don't. I don't. Why? How do you rest? Answer the question. I don't. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> um, I just like to be on the go. And it's not even like, I don't. I just don't get tired for real. Like, I do sleep at night, of course. I wake up in the morning. I pray my salat fajr. Like, it's like, I do what I need to do. But it's just like, I hate being in my room for more than an hour. I'll even go oh, out by myself. Like I'll be, I'll be like, Stacey, I'm getting ready to go out. Like, I'm going to go be doing this, this, that, and the third. You come with me. She's like, no. I'm going to get ready and I'm going to go by myself. I like it. But I feel like it's like rest. Rest at a certain age starts to mean something more yeah. than it did when you were younger. And now I like, I find joy in like, okay, I made myself my meal. I got myself a bottle of wine, run the bath bath bomb i'm sitting there i'm just like i like that that mm -hmm. that just brings me peace of mind i just going feel outside like, feels like a, a like i it feel like, like we're too young to be inside the house what like no i will be up and outside every day i don't know i'll find something to do every day i think with you is it that you are you would you say you're a workaholic no it doesn't work. but it's a thing where the rest I do my work so so i think with the rest it's like it's rest from taking time away from working so like you know when people do like for example i'm very much a workaholic mm -hmm. i'm always working always working always working and a lot of times that's very draining i think sometimes you can even take rest in fun activities i feel like sometimes rest doesn't necessarily mean being still and static or maybe it does i think maybe i don't know i think rest is different for everybody yeah i think rest is different for everyone i'm gonna agree with that because yeah. like you you don't like to just sit down and do mm. nothing yeah but you do like taking moments where you're doing things that you enjoy so spending time with people having a good time and stuff you like a bit more solid solid solidarity chilling reading your bible stuff like that i would actually say i'm very much along the lines of you because my job is so social obviously my job is this so talking to you going out to different things meeting people like my job literally is talking like i'm constantly if i'm going out i've got a meeting or something it's to have a conversation it's to talk about this it's to host this it's to film this where i have to be a personality and i find so much pleasure in just being alone and existing yeah exactly just existing by myself in my house watching Wu-Tang Clan or whatever I decide to jump on at that moment in time and just existing, like really. Yeah. Because of my job, what what you find in pleasure is what I have to do for work. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like this right now is so fun to me. No, this, 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 I, if you ask her, I rarely ever like, I don't ever see other creators. The only other creator who I really see is her because I live with her. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't. But this, I was excited to jump on because it's it just seems like a fun vibe all the time. Like it's never it's it doesn't boots. feel yeah, it's boots. It feels <laughs> so fun. But I feel like you, you're like you're. I'm not gonna say we're fake. I'm not gonna put take it that far. But I feel like when people meet you in person and they know you from social media, you're very you're still like very like hi, my name's Layla. Da -da -da. Like you're very like, calm. Mm -hmm. With I don't know if it's because we're I don't know what it is. The our our type of like talking. comedy we're like we're yeah. people expect us to be so like hey my name is Madame Joyce yeah. like they expect us to just come out so when they see us and we're just normal they don't like it's like they look at us kind of sideways like bitch I don't know this but like this Madame Joyce I know a different Madame Joyce but it's like I'm listen babe I'm relaxed outside can we just yeah we're not performing what well, girl um, I'm just going to the supermarket yeah. like why do I need to be ha! Yeah. like girl mm -hmm. I need to buy bread yeah okay. Can we just... My content that? is very much like... 
So nobody expects much from me when they see me. me. I feel like when people see me out in public, they look at me like, jump. Like, crack a joke. Yeah. I'm like, just, babe. I am very, like, I feel like I'm, I am that person at times. I can be that person that I am, because I'm, I'm not a fraud. Let's put that out there. I'm Period. Not a fraud. But it's like, I'm not that person all the time. I mean, I want yeah, to relax, no one's like that all the time. Be. I've been told I'm very, un- I look very unapproachable. People say that to her all the time. And that's even good, because don't speak to me. Because <laughs> I'm joking about that. <laughs> No, that's speak to you, no, I feel like it's a good, um, do you know what? I don't want it. I, I'm, I'm, it's just, a lot of times it's just my face. Like, if I'm walking to somewhere, I'm walking, I don't need to be walking on the street like, hi. I'm going somewhere, there's an intention. Plus, I have a million and one, usually I have a million and one things in my mind. For example, I spent the, the whole train ride thinking about what I'm doing for the show and things like that. I'm, I'm thinking about on my way to your show. Well, how am I, how how is it gonna go? You know what? I, what do I need to make sure that the guests are plus the live show? There's a million and one things. Of course, I'm not gonna be fucking smiling down yeah. down mm-hmm. the high street on the but, high road. But it's it's very funny to me because people find like what makes someone. I've heard that a lot of times. Mm-hmm. I've heard a lot of times people say I'm I'm unapproachable. Mm-hmm. What about me is unapproachable? Let's get into it. I don't get it. I don't see anything unapproachable. I, I don't see anything unapproachable. Because if anybody but people me, say it speak to all them. the time, like, like people have even like, can I talk? About that? Go crazy, girl. This is Pe- your world. People have even said that like, oh, if I was in like high school, I, you, I probably wouldn't speak to you. Like, I feel like you would never speak to me in high school. And I'm like, Stacy isn't that kind of person though. Stacy is a goofball. Like, Stacy, Stacy will talk to everybody, and people always act like she's. Like, and I feel like it's because you're pretty. Like, people think that you're probably just a bitch because you're it. pretty. Do you know what? Yeah, that's... It. I feel like a lot of people feel... Reflect on how they feel about you. Not necessarily what you are delivering. Because I don't get unapproachable from you. At all. But I feel like sometimes how people eternally perceive you is how they feel that you are. And a lot of times it comes from their own insecurity experiences and stuff like that. I find like a lot of times with pretty girls, people just automatically think that they're like rude mm. or standoffish. It's just like, girl, I'm just existing. All mm-hmm. I did, I'm from how does my face tell you that I'm unapproachable? I'm literally just existing. Mm. I promise you, I will talk to anybody. I, oh my I God, talk I to will. Anybody. People no, literally. I'll talk about. Like, and I feel like some people see like, what is it? Gold, golden retriever, black cat. Mm-hmm. You know what it is? People just automatically assume. I feel people. Maybe you switch. would think you would think when you see us two, I would be the black cat, she would be the golden retriever. And it is that way. But for some reason when people approach us, they treat me like I'm the golden retriever and she's the black cat. And it's like Do you have you do you guys have that saying here? Or no. No. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. You know how golden retrievers are just happy yeah. dogs and then black cats are just very much like don't touch me. Sleek, yeah. Get away from me. Like so yeah. people when you see us two it, beside each other, you would think I would be the black cat, she would be the golden retriever. And so you would think people would act accordingly, like people wouldn't speak to me, but they would speak to her. But they see me and they speak to me and then they think she's scary. And I'm like, what about they don't even what about this gift scary? They don't even acknowledge that I'm standing there. Sometimes it's like it baffles us. Like we'll sit back and we'll run it back, like the whole interaction back. Yeah. <laughs> they'll literally act like they'll literally be like, Oh, hi Layla, hi, hi, like where are you going? What are you doing? Da, 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 like, da, da. And then just walk away. Like and they'll as, just, as, as, as if, if she's not an arm in arm. Yeah, like, we're literally holding hands. In, she, they you just, didn't say hi. Please. Have Sorry, home training. <laughs> I'm telling you, I I really do feel like it's it's just how they feel. But you know what, you're I don't that that's weird because I look at you and you're absolutely gorgeous. So Thank I don't you. know why they, but I don't know maybe I don't know what it is because it's like you're both like you. I'm just looking at you. You look you could actually be a supermodel. You know, I'm not just like you can actually because I feel like you know sometimes. Obviously, when you're look when you're doing social media and you just you just kind of do it, people don't see you in your whole profile. Like, mm-hmm. obviously, I'm seeing you in like your whole 360 profile, and I think you're absolutely stunning. Thank you. So <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you as to what the difference is or why they go for you or not the other one or I don't know. But maybe because like you're you a get flicky, to speak babe. In it. Yeah, I, when we start speaking, me personally, mm-hmm. Stacy is very good at like not oversharing. I have zero self control, so it's like I open my mouth and it's yappa 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 yeah, all day. So then when people see us in public, it's like, oh, I'm gonna speak to her. This one doesn't this speak. Just chatting. But oh, in so reality, you're not very warm. No, she is. I'm. I'm. I'm not speaking because I want to speak. I'm speaking because I'm making up for this silence. Like I'm yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, you know, what? Like nobody's talking. <laughs> and she'll speak when she wants to speak, and she's 
fun to talk to. Like once people get to know, they're always like, "I thought you would never speak to me," and I'm like, "But what gave that? I don't, I don't see it." But Truly. like sometimes it's like I've literally been like, "Layla, that's enough." So, oh, that was me. Is sometimes it? I'll be like, "Layla, like you just let's girl, stop. you doing let's too not much. Unpack that's that me, much. You know, no, she literally has to stop me. Yeah, like, so let's not unpack that much. So you're talking about two fucking much. Right? I am such a. <laughs> do you know I'm for it though? I'm, I love a bit of oversharing and over talking. That's definitely me. Really? That's the, all my days. I'm such an over. Obviously, as you guys already know, sometimes a lot of times I come out of the show and be like, "Fucking hell, I shouldn't have said that." Like they know, like these lot know most about me. A lot of my life, but a lot like, of my chaotic instances. But there's a there's sometimes sometimes people can think you're oversharing. They're not actually oversharing. That's true. You know, you know? what what is oversharing? I feel like I me? feel like <laughs> no. I feel like you've stopped. As of lately, I've learned how to control it. When you start to get into like, you know what, mm. oversharing is not that bad. Oversharing is bad when, when, you can peep the person. You can peep the person. <laughs> you can peep the person is um, trying to get something out of you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like they're trying. They're asking you these questions to get a certain response, response out of you. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's when, that's what I would tell her. Like yo, yo, yeah, you can't vibe. trust the person. Yeah. 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 They, they want Shut tea. Up. They want yeah. gist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Just you. They just want hold gist. your lip. But sometimes it's like oversharing is okay. You know, mm-hmm. but, it's like, but depending on the person, it's like e. They want to know what happened in the, in the. Yeah, you yeah. really do need to be careful who you vent to. Mm-hmm. Like, I, that was a big problem for me, like coming into this space because I just kind of just said how I felt. Mm-hmm. I just said, you know, and I, that really bit me in the bum a couple of times. I yeah. must say, but do you know what? We actually were on word of the week, which we kind of spiraled out. We're talking about rest. Oh yeah. So going oh, back we, to <laughs> rest, we actually the way we, we the went, rabbit we, hole we the went. rabbit hole we went to was the same, but it happens. But for everyone that is going through struggles of rest at the moment and don't know kind of how to ground themselves or how to manage their work play um, time, we've just got some advice here. So remind yourself Uh, to take time away from life's never ending cycle of work. A good way to do this is taking time out to meditate. It's been shown that guided meditation and other forms of reflection alleviate anxiety, depression and insomnia in addition to helping you de-stress, relax and calm your mind. So before anyone jumps out your our throat to say, oh yeah, there's some, uh, meditation is, uh, meditation is uh, fucking demonic and bloody, 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 blah, blah, blah. There are different forms of meditation. Mm-hmm. Praying is a form of meditation mm-hmm. as well as journaling and practicing mindfulness. Basically any form of stopping and pausing, mental pausing to just, Recollaborate is a way of meditation. It's prayer is a form of meditation, not warfare prayer. Relaxed, the the one that you pray and you're just thankful and things like that. That sort of kind of Zen zone prayer. This and um, journaling, writing things down. It helps. Yeah, journaling but, really did that did help me. Yeah, yeah. even pray, praying. The both of them, I've been trying to do it every day, like every day, just pray journal worship every day in the yeah. morning and i find that the day that i don't do it like yesterday i didn't or two days ago i didn't do it or for the past two days i didn't do it i should say I promise you yesterday i was having a mental breakdown if you see my camera roll i literally have pictures of me with swollen eyes i don't <laughs> like i just i don't know if it's because i'm traveling that i didn't do mm-hmm. it but hey i will never miss another day again i'm so sorry god i will not yeah miss another when day. it becomes routine it's just like it, it really resets your mind and it just keeps you in a in a place of peace what does prayer do for you as a muslim woman I feel like it's very calming. Yeah. Like, it's like, because the way we pray is almost like yoga. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, I just feel like really put together after praying. Like, I feel like in touch. I just feel stressed sometimes if I don't do it or if I yeah. miss a prayer. Yeah. 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 It's definitely de-stress. It definitely keeps, it, it, it definitely keeps you grounded. It definitely sets the intention for just being grateful, mm. just being, just being in a place of gratitude and just in a place of reflection of yourself and just being mm-hmm. with with the creator and just having that moment in whatever, in whatever capacity you believe in. So there's different forms of meditation before anyone jumps at my throat. And the second thing is, it's always important to remember, we work to live, but we don't live to work. 
Earning money and building your future is important, but taking time out to rest is vital for your well-being. With good rest, we operate more efficiently. So turn your work phone off, decline your manager's request for overtime and unwind. And I know it's easier said than done because obviously cost of living and that. But I always say that if you're, there's all of this shit, all this shit hits the fan if your health is declining. If you're having bad health or you have bad mental health, the whole money making thing that you're trying to grab and trying to do, it's not going to work because you need your health to be able to do things. So health is, should always be the main priority and that's mental health included like taking time off processing yourself is very good for your mental health is very good for your emotional health and it's important to take those to prioritize those things before you know hustle and bustle and getting money because guess what you overwork yourself you're fighting for your life taking the overtime when you're sick or if you die they're just going to replace your ass so yeah. make sure that your health yeah. is first yeah, it's the truth what they're gonna is, do they're gonna say is. sorry rest in peace i yeah, replace that's you it. i feel like mental health is like the first like it's the bottom building block to build everything else on top of it the money and the the rep and the this and that like you need that first and to have that block it's going to the house is going to crumble down eventually whether you built if you think you did it for what five years you did a good job at it some some point down the line it's gonna it's gonna mess up you know what i mean i feel like we we were in a content house that's how me and her met and and in that content house we were both we weren't close at that time mm-hmm. so we never shared with one another but we were going through it mentally like bad right and i feel like if we continued on that same path mm-hmm. you would not be continuing content creating it, it uh, was a it was a process that actually like like destroyed it made us hate it like, hate content creating like it's like we had to I find need to that know because there's a loads of content houses in the u.s mm. please can you give me the tea on this because i would like to hear it tea like well, well, like just how? like how do, first of all how do content creation houses work because I've heard of this but I never knew it was a thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where people mm-hmm. normally content creation houses content creation whatever the fuck those houses are normally like um, a bunch of teenagers who are all like famous on social media come together put money together get a house together and make content together mm-hmm. but for us we were the first like official kind of black content house so no, we were the first black official content house okay not, like, i don't want to yeah. say like you know i don't sound aghast or like airheaded about it but okay it's not it's not airheaded it was it was the worst okay yeah and then um so one of our friends he decided he was like we should do this and we were like okay so he went and reached out to a bunch of other different creators who he thought should be in the house then he found a manager or some shit mm-hmm. they put the house together they got us a, a sponsor like the, everything was paid for like in the house which normally content houses are not really like that like it's like a bunch of teenagers just trying to make some shit shake but for us it was like put together by a management team okay yeah and then we get together it was like it was it in some sense did not feel real mm-hmm. right and it's like you're coming from like uh she's creating content in tennessee and her parents are probably looking at her like you that's not a real job get a real job yeah. eventually stop doing what you're doing same thing with me my parents were looking at me like you're supposed to be in school like why are you doing this you know what i mean and then he hits me up he's like she just he ba- he didn't even provide any contract at this point he just told me like tell your parents you're moving to la and i was like uh, i don't know about all that but we end up, we end up moving and then we met we met in the house and it mm-hmm. was like the house was, should I say it was sponsored by? Just leave it alone. It does not it doesn't matter. Yeah. It, the house was sponsored by at and I don't think you guys have it out here. Direct TV? Yeah. You know? It's AT- like a phone company. Okay, yes, yeah. yes. They, they, then they, they um, just literally put you in a house and tell you, like, make content. Like, yeah. they tell you, like, this, this many, co- like, videos a month. Okay this is how much you're going to be getting as long as you create this many videos a month mm-hmm. and this is our what we want to um what is it called advertise this okay. week and then p- play that do your normal content but add that into your content and okay. then post it and then it's like okay now now normally it's like when even right now when we make content it's just like if i wake up one day and i'm like that is a really cute makeup look i want to make a video of me trying that makeup look and i'm going to do it today like it's just fun like it's just yeah. like for shits and giggles then it was like all right, get up, time to make content. I'm just like, there it is It became just, a job. It became a job. Like, it was like, like, okay, now you're making a mu- uh, makeup? Yeah. Out of 
at a random product that yeah. has nothing to do with anything. In nothing to do with what I normally and, use. And post it. And it's like, but that was not even like the bad part. Like it's mm-hmm. like, it's, it is, it's, it's money. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. I will do it every single time if they mm-hmm. offer it to me. So, but it's like, you have to take into concept that you're now living with five or we had five mm-hmm. people who you do not know from nowhere. You mm-hmm. don't know how they operate. You don't know if they're clean, they're dirty, they're loud, they're this. You don't know anything about them, and you have to live with them. And on top of that, we were in a um, in the in a in the pandemic, so we couldn't even leave the house if we wanted oh to. So we're trapped now with five strangers who mm-hmm. we do not know in mm-hmm. this house, and it's like it's contractual at this point. Do not leave. Do not do this. Do not do that. It's like mm-hmm. you're being told how to live. You don't even know. Like it's it, it can be a mentally dehabilitating process, and that it was. Wow. So the contract was saying that you guys basically couldn't leave the house not they didn't say that in the contract but because it was a pandemic they were like oh You're yeah not allowed because to of leave. cross yeah. contamination and all mm-hmm. that stuff mm-hmm. okay and in terms of like making money were you making were you given a salary or like how did that work because i know because i i thought about this there's a, there's I, I i there's a um these old people on TikTok that I always see and they all live in a house together. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, I don't And know. I've always been the curious. Nursing home. To, yeah, the, the, yeah the, the family of old people that make content. And I've always been curious with all the brand deals they get, like what kind of benefits are they having? Because obviously I look at older people and younger people, people that are very easily exploited. So it's like, okay, cool. They might be getting a salary, but considering how much they may be getting the brand sponsors might be giving the managers how much of that are they getting. But do you feel like you were paid fair and everything in that place? Do you feel like you were given, to be honest, yeah? I feel like, I feel like we were paid fairly and mm-hmm. I feel like it was, it was, it kind of like was the cornerstone for all of our careers that who were in that house. So yeah. I would never change that experience for the world. Um, obviously there's like, companies pay black creators a fraction of what they pay uh, like white creators agreed you know what I mean they will yeah they will they will will divide that cost up uh, crazy like Mm -hmm. we it's like the same stuff that we're being asked to do we're we're being asked to do more work and we're getting paid a fraction of the price agreed and on top of that we are I can name so many black creators who have originated trends and types of content and then you have the white people who just see the black people do it. They remix it just a little bit, and then they they run with the idea, and companies will go and pay them for that. Like it's like you know somebody can come see this podcast and be like, oh, cocktails and takeaways, um, drinks and like advice. We're gonna call it that, and then they'll get paid mm-hmm. on top of the price. Yeah. But it's like I came up with it. Now I'm sitting here. That's what it used to be. It used to be we used to come up with content, edit, do all this, and then it's like. And we would just see them doing exactly what we're doing, and they're getting paid, paid way more. Way more. Yeah. We're Agreed. putting in more work. So it's like. Yes, it was worth it. Would I trade it for the world? No. Yeah. And but it's a little a discouraging. Friendship. Exactly. And it, it was like... It's really discouraging. Like, when I... Like, uh, some of the white creators be admitting to yeah. watching our... Like, they've said our names. Like, they watch our content and then they use it for inspo. And it's like... So you use the video that I just did for inspo for your brand deal and you got paid so much more than I did. Yeah. What? And they get the same brand deals. Like, I'm not going to say no names, but... I did a brand deal one time, and this white kid did a brand deal one time, and he got paid four times as much as I got paid. Wow. And I didn't know, so I asked him. And he was like, what, that's how much they paid you? And I was like, yeah. And, and I had more weird. followers it's than so him. It's so weird. And if you see, like, whenever we go to these events, you mm-hmm. see the white creators. Like, one, I remember we went to Coachella last mm-hmm. year. Or was it this year or last year? Last year. And you see the white creators, and they're very, like, they're all, like, drugged up you're drugged up you're drunk like you don't take it seriously yeah. this is not a job for you like you have so much opportunity that it doesn't matter what you do here at Coachella mm-hmm. today for us too it does matter it mm-hmm. does what I, if I if I was drunk and disorderly here right now I would not get another job you know what mm-hmm. I mean so now I'm trying to act like I'm put together and that as much as I want to drink what I like all that drink I'm gonna you know relax myself yeah. you're still gonna get paid at the end of the day and on top of that there's like wristbands that they have to like signify that they were invited to an event they were paid to go to an event you have so many wristbands on your wrist and you're drunk. You're literally telling us you're off cocaine. Me and her are sober at this event and we have, what, one, two? One, two wristbands. Each wristband is like, I know for every wristband that is on this person's wrist, that's how many brand deals they have. Okay. Because they have to attend this event and make a video. Okay. They have so many. We have like two. And it's not like they're getting paid. They're not getting paid like 
even two 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 thousand pounds, three thousand pounds. That's not what they're getting paid. That's not what they're getting paid for every single one, every single content creator that I saw. Ten k, ten k, ten k. Thank you. Five figures, Thank five you. figures, five figures. Yes, exactly. It's crazy. And I'm I'm literally counting their wristbands. Like I'm around. just watching them walk by, and it's just like, and they can't even speak to it. They're yeah. drunk. They're like, it's like it's not even like a job for them. It's just it's just for fun. For and fun like we're nice. we're putting in the work. You took that ass took my idea. Like I've seen, I talked to one white girl. She's a content creator. She has a lot more followers than I do, and she gets paid way more than I do. But um, she was like asking me questions about my makeup and how I do it, blase, blase. And the next day, does her makeup exactly like mine? Her video gets like twenty million views, and she's like, "This is how I do my eyeliner." And I was like, "Now if no, I punch bitch. you in the mouth, yeah. <laughs> now if I just punch you, yeah, huh? You Are you cr- about and it? I should even tag you and say, "Oh, inspire." No, nothing. she straight took my. I, she even explained the eyeliner the way that I do my eyeliner. She explained it on her own face and said, this is how I do my eyeliner. I should beat you up. And it's crazy because it's literally the people with the literally the most following on TikTok. Yeah. If I'm being completely honest. Like, we're not going to name no names, but it's like, it's like you, if you, the least you could have done is said Layla. Layla gave you the idea. You know what I mean? Literally, at least. It, the thing is, yeah, I get people do a lot of things for inspo. But what I don't like, and, and this is the problem, and this has always been the problem with the black community, is that we are a lot of the times the, the, the genesis creators of a lot of things. From even, I think, how the structure of tiktok works i feel like we definitely had a big part to to the to the influence of how tiktok works in terms of dancing in terms of comedy but we never are acknowledged because the white creators will pick it and be like thank you they'll do it and then they'll bang more Mm -hmm. but sometimes i forget that because i had the same frustration because you know i'm in the podcast space and funny enough i was talking to thames about this um and i was like i feel like i've hit a bit of a glass ceiling here because i'm seeing people who are in this space who have really taken inspiration from what we're doing on the show podcasting was very very different before i came on to, before i came onto the scene how it looked and how how it was structured even to the the, the level of production in terms of visually was wasn't the same when i came in and you have people who come in after me as white creators and they're mm-hmm. flying even though they've taken your concept or they're taking your style taking off it they are flying mm-hmm lying and you just look at it just be like but sometimes because we are a minority here you know we make five percent of the population and in in the uk we make about five to ten percent i don't know five ten percent of the population that means we have like 90 percent of people who are not us Mm -hmm. meaning they are the bigger demographic and a white person is always going to see one of theirs and be attracted to them more than they would a black person it's sick. And that's okay. And you know, that's okay because to be honest, I'm the same. I'm gonna relate to you more than I will with a white girlie. And the thing is, I love my flavored white girlies. You know, there's some flavored white girlies. I'm like, yeah, this is you know, we can kick it. But for the most part, I'm not gonna understand you, and you're not gonna understand me because we come from two different cultures. So sometimes I don't really take it to heart when I see those white creators flying because then it's a reminder that we are a minority and we have we do have to work harder because they what because the the mainstream which is the amon you ball they are going to understand themselves more than they will us in any capacity and it does someone could be someone can be exactly like you and exactly like your content but be white color- and do better than you do you know what i mean yeah because a white person is going to relate to that skin color more More. than you and they are the majority so that's what i have to remind myself all the time it has nothing to do with our talent it has nothing to do with with our skill because i feel like we are so competent here i think everyone here is amazing i feel like the talent that we have in our community is amazing but sometimes we forget that we are a minority sadly Mm -hmm. and a white person can a white person can do half of what we do and do better because there's more people to back it yeah that's just what it is sadly you were saying how people you were saying something along the lines of people like copy like they they you've you've done a lot in the podcast game okay people copy the things that you do and then they get their credit for it. you don't get the credit for it mm-hmm. and i feel like you i like i feel like you're just one of the like in the podcast game you're one of the main ones you're one of the main ones i feel like you're the first one who brought like the videography I, maybe you're not the first don't 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 credit me don't, don't. i am 
I'm like the him. one that focused on visuals in the podcast space. That was like, I feel like I was one of the first to do it. I couldn't say I'm the first because someone in Iceland might have done that. Anyway, Sister Percy. But you're the first one to, like, for me personally, that, like, that's where I got. I didn't hear about you from, from somewhere. Like, I, I heard about you based on the things you have done to make this what it is right now. You know what I mean? So I feel like you deserve your flowers. And I feel like for someone to come in the game and then expect that their their shit's popping off and like it's based off like the shit that you've done like i feel like earlier i feel like today i was nervous but there's a little bit nervous a little bit scared <laughs> <laughs> a little bit nervous. and i was watching it i always watch when i do my makeup but today when i was watching it um i was peeping your subscribers i was like what what like i feel like the based on the people who i see who i feel like everyone watches your shit am i bugging Am I bugging? I don't know who everyone is. <laughs> I feel like maybe because I just be watching it. But I feel like the, the amount of times I see your stuff pop up on my For You page and on my Reels. What is it called? For Reels. Reels. Explore mm-hmm. page yeah. for Reels. It's like you should be getting a lot more credit than you actually get. You know what I mean? You deserve your fucking flowers. You deserve it. And it's like people come up with the same. People do the same thing that you do. Cox doesn't take away. They do. They do tweak the name a little bit, and they do their own thing. And then they get their flowers for it, and you don't get your flowers. And it's like a black Oman is sitting here every single week doing what she has to do, entertaining you guys. You guys don't give her the flowers she deserves, and that's a little bit unreal. I can't let the white people get away with this one. Maybe other things. Not this. <laughs> you ain't got. You're gonna get this one. <laughs> Not this nah, one. I love and appreciate you, man. It makes me. It makes me happy. I feel like sometimes I really do. I don't know. I, you see other creators, and I guess in anyone, like, and you compare yourself, and you're like, wow, you know, you know, I'd love to get to that level. I'd love to get to that, you know, that level of growth. You know, I'm trying to get to 100k subscribers, and there's some people that have started before me, and they've already hit the 100k mark, and you know, it gets frustrating. But I think I just do. I just, I just, you, you just have to keep going. Do you know what I mean? And and understand that. I guess I didn't start this because of the numbers game. Like, I'm quite happy that I'm even seeing this type of, you know, numbers. Like, I was very happy with just having 10K listeners a week, let alone 70K that we have now. And I feel like I just focus on that. I just focus on the fact that I was never expecting to get to this level. I was never expecting to do it. So I'm just always taking everything with gratitude. And the basis of everything I do is not the numbers and it's not because our, oh, you know, podcast is the buzzword, but I generally like talking to people. Like it makes me happy. And the fact I get to do that every week is, is, it's my passion project. Do you know what I mean? And you know, fuck the numbers. If the numbers come cool, not fuck them because subscribe in it, but <laughs> subscribe, no, please, please, please. subscribe, but it's not my, it's not my be all and end all. The, the fact that I get to sit down week by week to talk to some really cool people, people that I admire, and I love like you guys from the United States of America <laughs> is always always a pr- uh, pr- privilege. Pr- yeah. privilege. I feel like at times when you're when you're doing it from this like this room, it's like it, it's hard to understand the like the what is the word? It's not gratitude. It's it's magnitude mm-hmm. rhymes. I was close, but um, the magnitude of what you're actually doing. And when I when the person who came in, I think it was your DM and mm-hmm. said that I'm coming to the UK and da da da. It's like the amount of people who hit me up from that who are like, go, like from my hometown, mm-hmm. who are like, go, 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 go. It's like, keep going, keep going. Like the shit that you're doing is big. And I do not, I don't fuck with you because. I don't fuck with you because it's like people I like people be like you're popping or something. Like even though you are popping, not, that's not why I fuck with you. I genuinely do fuck with you. Keep going. The shit's gonna pop off. I swear. I swear. Even though people might not see the shit right now, Amen. I'm picking this shit. Amen. Real bad. Amen. Real I receive bad. it. I receive and it. There's and there's not Jesus enough black name. people in the space who are doing what you're doing. Keep going. Joyce, don't stop, Madame. Madame Joyce <laughs> in the building. Stand up. Everybody subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Girl. Hashtag. Come on. Oh, man, that meant the world to me. Oh, I'm not going to start crying because I'm a thug. Don't stop because I feel like you have such <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like you have, like, the per- like, I don't have worth ethic because that's something the Lord needs to work on in me. But, like, you have it. You have, I have what it. <clears throat> really? Because it gives that from the thing, from the, from the screen. I'm a workaholic, yes, definitely. I feel like the show. I don't like disappointing people. That's mm. the, I feel like that is my driving factor. My driving factor of this show is my listeners. Mm. <sighs> I love my, oh, I'm not gonna start crying because that's moist. But I feel like my <laughs> driving factor definitely is the people that watch my show. It definitely is my audience because I hate letting them down. I mm. hate letting people down. Like when you, when everyone 
you know, well, not everyone, but when people talk to me and they're like, yo, Joyce, you know, I watch this week by week and it's helping me get through a bad day Literally, or depression yes. or, you know, my mum died. And I've had so many stories of what, you know, what this moment does for people. I think me not being consistent, honestly, it really kills me. It really, really kills me because I'm like, listen, someone is out there depressed because of me. Like, that's how I take, that's, and you know, that's not the case because it's like, girl, I didn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. But it, but then it's like, girl, you didn't do nothing. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I think that's what it is. But I think that's what drives me mm. with this show. Because if not, I probably wouldn't be as consistent as I'm trying to be. And, you know, everyone's looking at me like, do a side eye because you had like a couple of weeks where you didn't come and it's like, girl, I was depressed, girl, bye. But, you and know. you're allowed to be. Yeah. <laughs> and you're allowed to be. I swear you're allowed to be good. Because there are all those times, because there's some people who hit me on some same, like, like, we don't see people in the space that are like you, you know? There's, like, no other black girls that are like you doing what you're, you're doing. Da, da, da. So you keep on trying. Thank you. You keep trying to, like, like do what you're doing because everyone else in the space is like it's literally white girls like it's like they're doing the same thing they're because the type of content that we'd be trying to do is like it's like lifestyle content there's mm -hmm. someone in this world that's living the same life that you're doing and it's like to watch it on the screen is nice but they're all white so to relate is hard mm -hmm. and i'd be depressed as fuck sometimes i can't even hold you i do I be and so to sit here and press record hurts me just it's a, a little bit it does it does For, even before the records even wear the makeup even wear the wig to even thank you and then you have to, you have to you know you what have I mean? to wear the wig because they'll say look no, they'll come like, to the call, say, look at your nose what is this thing yeah. <laughs> they'll be, <laughs> <scared. laughs> be a little bit scared so i feel like you're you do a good job at it though like you be doing good. don't don't i feel like at times don't be like like don't feel like their livelihood depends on you because it really doesn't. That's how I feel, you know. Fucking, that was crazy. Don't do that. That that will make your mental health pressure. like down the drain because you're gonna feel like people's literal life depends on you, and that's like not like it. Even if it does, you're not. You didn't come into this world like with a, a book that says that like, Joyce is responsible for these people's lives. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the time and the shit that I like, you 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 be doing it for me, so I can only imagine who else you do it for, and you're doing a good fucking job. You just want to give you your applause right now. Period, poo. Shout out Joyce. Girl, let me fill up that bottle <laughs> of drink over here. Come here, drink empty now. Nah. Cocktails and takeaways. <laughs> Guys, we are going to move on to a very special segment. Obviously, we just spoke about it, so mm -hmm. it's the perfect way to intro it into the cultural questionnaire. This is, of course... A very special game on this show. No one's got 10 out of 10 on this, you know, which is really disappointing me because it really shows the educational system is failing um, the minorities. But I'm hoping today with this dynamic duo that we are going to get 10 out of 10 for the first time. You know what's crazy so, is that this dynamic duo doesn't have a lot to bring to the table. <laughs> well, we will put that to the test. Okay. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really betting on you. I'm hoping that you no, can I do don't well. think it helps don't bet American. too much. It definitely doesn't help that we're American. But we have the we, we do tailor the questions. Okay, we do okay. tailor oh, the okay, questions. Okay, 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 you know, okay. so we Go we're gonna some. be giving Go you on. some we'll definitely have some stuff there that's fitting for you and your mental capacity. Okay. We have ten questions. You can only give me one answer. Okay. You can't say Bobby, Susie, Becky, Adam, Jonah, Bobby. And we will be putting your name on the leaderboard depending on the amount of questions you answer correctly okay because there is two of you there's two of you in it there's nothing else okay I was, I was waiting for like an ultimate no. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna say there's 15 <laughs> questions yeah, 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 actually yeah, yeah. there should be 15 questions to be honest but oh. to be honest you are a surprise guest because you were just kind of you just kind of showed up and we were like yeah shit come through okay. so here we are which means you, there's an opportunity to get time at 10 today okay I, I genuinely don't know if we will the, it's the lack of faith for me. The, the thing is, together. the based on the questions, the I made us watch both. I made us watch it yesterday, and I don't. We both did not get none of nah. the shits yesterday. So. No, we got one right yesterday. <laughs> and the collective. <laughs> so let's see. It, it Are you ready? If it's book smart, maybe I got it. If it's street smart, maybe she got it. If it, and and if it's anything else smart, we are gonna see. Bring it on, gal. Are you ready? Yes. One hundred percent. The music starts playing. Question number one. Which European country has the most Michelin starred restaurants? A, France. B, Spain. C, Italy. Oh, they liked you. Start, starting with multiple. Multiple choice. Fuck it as well. 
I wait, like wait, wait, wait. Ask the question one more time. Which European country has the most Michelin starred restaurants? And those are the three options. And the, and the, A, the options are? France, B, Spain, C, Italy. Listen, can I talk to her? Why are you say, whispering? Say, say I already know. Say the mic. Yeah, no, just, just, no, don't say an answer. What am I saying? Speak to me. Speak to me in the, in the like, where we're But whatever I say doesn't count as the answer, right? No, you have to lock it in. Okay, we're putting listen, up a wall so, right here. Uh, I don't know who I was talking to the other day, but they were saying how in the UK, the most Michelin star restaurants are all French restaurants. So then answer. Madam. What if I'm wrong, though? Go ahead. I don't know nothing. You don't care if it's wrong? Are you going to beat me up? Yeah, and I care. I want to say France. Is that what you're both locking in? Honestly, I don't know anything about you Go have ahead. to lock in together. We're locking it in France. Are we wrong? They are locking in France. If it's Italy, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, what the first question wrong over here? What? What's the answer? <laughs> That is correct. Yeah! Well done. Yeah! Yeah! It's fast. Well done. Question number two. Which film starring Michelle Yeoh, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Ki Hui Kwan I know this. won the best picture at the 2023 Oscars ceremony? Everything, everywhere, all at once. We really just watched that. We just watched that. <laughs> Are you locking that in? Locking it in. <laughs> you can hear the the coke bubbling away. <laughs> Nobody knows how dead silent this place is. No, it is. You know what's crazy is when you watch it with the sound effect, I know exactly <laughs> what sound effect is happening right now in, in their he- in their room. But and this room is not it's happening. It's dead quiet. Like you can actually hear the bubbling of the coke. And you can hear the breathing. You can feel the attention. The thing is, I'm not even worried because I know I was right. You are we really just saw shit. Don't worry. And this, the quiet be making you feel like you didn't do it right. Yeah. That is correct. Period! <laughs> Sorry to your Easy ears. peasy, great start. Question number three. Which singer is responsible for the hit songs Wiggle, Talk Dirty, and Sweet? Jason, Jason Derulo. Derulo. <laughs> locking it in. <laughs> Are you locking yes. that in? I actually love Talk Dirty to me. I love that song so much. I'm sorry to it's it's done. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. You're locking in Jason Derulo. Yep. <laughs> that is correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Jason Derulo. He's so he's fine to you. <coughs> There's just no way. He's he's um. He's uh, fine to you. Um. He's not my cup of tea. He used to be fine. He used to, to be fine. When? In what year? In like 2012. What you say? What you say? That Jason Derulo is the one I know. Okay, ladies, we are going to move on. Let's go to question number four. What does the Roman numeral M stand oh. for? I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and count for a second. Go ahead. There's one, and then there's two, there's which two. is two lines. There's three, three is three lines. There's one V. Four, that's four. Then the one after that is five, but I don't remember what five looks like. I'm going to, s- I want to say you 12. Bro. You really got that, bro. I want to say 12. M, yeah, because if it's me, I'll say a million. I want to say 12. That's just a guess that I'm making off the top of my head, because I, I know up to five. Up <laughs> to three. It's one, two. I one. know one V is four. And I want to say twelve. Wait, can I? Okay, you think about it. What's a hundred? Girl, I don't know. Why would I know what a hundred is in Roman numerals? We don't, we can only look in one <coughs> answer. Yeah. True. Can only look in one answer. What are you looking in? We can only like I'm asking. We can only look in one. One answer. This is gonna be so so sad. What are you saying? I, my brain came up with 12. That's just a wild guess. Actually, now it's saying 13. Ahem. What are we looking in, ladies? Let's say 13. If it's 12, I give you permission to hit me. 
You keep saying this like I do be hitting. She you. don't be hitting me, guys. I don't be hitting. She doesn't her. beat on me. This I is a this is a great that. relationship. You keep on saying like that. Don't make me seem like I'm something that I'm not. Okay, 13. we're gonna do what she wants to do, which is thirteen, 13. right? Thirteen. I don't know nothing about. Romance. We don't know. We're just guessing. You're looking at thirteen. Yeah. The thing is, I don't think thirteen is. That. I feel like I've thir- seen thirteen Roman numerals. I don't know. Okay, let's say twelve then. You wanna lock in twelve? Oh, it's twelve either. I feel like it's a hundred. What are we locking in, ladies? Go ahead. Go ahead. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads or Can tails? Can I ask Siri? Heads or tails? Just heads or tails. I'm not gonna ask you what it is. I'm just gonna say heads or tails. That doesn't count. That doesn't no, count. It doesn't work that way. Let's say. Let's say. Let's say thirteen. We're locking in thirteen. We're locking in thirteen. It's probably wrong, but it is what it is. Stacy. Thirteen. That is incorrect. Correct. Well done. You're wait what? Lying. No fucking it's incorrect. Okay. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Don't incorrect. ever do this. Yo, I felt some hope <laughs> in my heart. I felt. Wait. I felt like I'm so fucking. No, it's um, it's a thousand. You what? know I said a hundred? It's a thousand. You were getting you were like I you were getting, getting close. You were warming up, but you know, you didn't warm up. It, it, it is what up. it is. I was thinking it was like a concrete like 10, What's the highest amount of 11? questions that people have gotten right? It's up to ten, I think, right? I think a lot of people have been lingering on the seven and eights. I don't think I've ever had anyone get nine. Let's let's at least try to get nine. We we are we have at to what? get the rest of them right. What are we at right now? We have three correct answers out of four. Bring it on. Question number five. What is the name of the Japanese art of folding paper? Origami. Is it right? I don't know. <laughs> origami. Is it origami? I think it's origami, yeah. Is it or- It's definitely origami. Yeah. I like genuinely, how'd you think that? Yeah. <laughs> it's origami. It's origami. Are you locking in? Bring your locking in. Origami. Thank you. I'm in touch Wait, with so my you're right. people. Or are you just repeating? I'm just repeating your. Yes, yeah, origami. <laughs> that is correct. Okay. Yeah. I am in touch Go with you my you guys. People. Question number six. Name the 2000 American film starring Tom Hanks, who plays a FedEx worker who gets stranded on an unhibited island after his plane crashes in the South Pacific Ocean. Jesus. Listen, I'm going to keep up buck with you. I've only ever watched one Tom Hanks movie. You know what's crazy? I only ever watched, I only know that Tom Hanks does Scientology, so I don't know any other movie he's been in. Did we get a hint? No. You, the movie you're talking about is... What I'm talking about is um, Blast from the Past. Is he a Scientologist? I mean, not Scientologist. No, no, no. That's, the, he gets like locked in a military area for like 30 years. It's the one where he comes out, he goes... Oh my stars! An e girl. <laughs> could you? <laughs> you made me watch that shit eight times. Could you? Could you repeat the question? Name the 2000 American film starring Tom Hanks, who plays a FedEx worker that gets stranded on an uninhibited island after his plane crashes in the South Pacific Ocean. Jesus, is Lord. I can now ask me a question about an Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. I will answer that correctly. You this one busy? we do not know. <laughs> Both of us don't know it. Yeah. I can't even guess a thing. I'm going to lock in at Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Yeah. We truly don't know. I don't be watching Tom. Tom Hanks is a cool guy. I don't be watching his movies. All I know is he does Scientology. You know Scientology? Yes. That's all I know about that man. I can't even name one movie the man was in. I only know Blast from the Past. Should we just say Blast from the Past? Let's just say Blast from the Past. It's the wrong movie. It, but it is a it's movie a funny at least movie. that he's in because Zach and Cody, he's yeah. not in there. So we're going to lock in with Blast from he the Past. Like them. He's not them, though. Blast from the Past, lock in. We truly don't know. Blast from the Past. That is incorrect. Yeah. yeah. The answer is Cast Away. Yeah, I've never seen that movie. I've heard that movie so many times. I didn't even know Tom Hanks was in that movie. I've never heard that all right, well, let's just, now let's at least see if we can get to eight correct answers. How many are we at? Seven. We are at question number seven. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Question number seven, true or false? The United Kingdom is almost the same size as 
France. Not in population, but the actual size of the country. That's false. All of France? Wait, wait are we talking about true or false here? Yeah, yes. That's false. The United Kingdom and is I, almost the same size as France. I'm going to say false simply because we were supposed to go to Paris. And so I was on the map zooming out, looking at how far the distance was. And France looked much bigger than the UK. We can't ask questions. Do you? What are you looking in? You can't ask questions. <laughs> Said, this is she told us to shut the fuck way. up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say false. This is a question. I'm gonna ask you a question. Hmm. And this might make me sound a little bit stupid. Hmm. I don't really know what the United Kingdom is. I looked on the map, Stacey. So it, does it include? United Kingdom includes London, Manchester, Birmingham. Wow, like so it's not countries. United Kingdom is the country, right? No, London it's is not. You can't even ask her. She's not here. United Kingdom is a country. The United we Kingdom. will find out when she tells us the answer. No, 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 because I'm not about to listen. The United Kingdom. Kingdom. King. What? Is it? Is it England? Is England the country? England is a country, I believe. She said, you said, is the United Kingdom smaller or bigger than France? True or false, the United Kingdom is almost the same size it's as not. France. It's not. France is big. Is, the United, is France not in the United Kingdom? No, it's not. France is its own place. And I know that because Paris is in France. And they speak French over there. These niggas don't be speaking French. The thing is, is the United Kingdom not a group of countries? No. We, have, we have London. London is not a London country. London is not a country. It's a city. We have England. England is a country. But she's not asking about England. She's asking about the United Kingdom. But why do I feel like the United Kingdom is bigger? I'm. What are we I looking at, ladies? False. I want to say false. I think France is bigger. How do you feel, Stacey? France. To say that one country is bigger than the kingdom. We are just stupid Americans. We know nothing. Why game. would you ask us this question? No, you think we learned about to, Europe? <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at, ladies? I'm I'm not trusting too much. You said false. Yeah. We have to agree. <laughs> false. What are you looking in? You have to lock in together. False. I don't know if the United Kingdom is a country or if the United Kingdom is the in England says, or what Kingdom Britain is, is. bigger than France? It's the same size. It's not the same size. False. False. Okay, false, 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 false. You Lord have mercy. False. You're looking in false? Yeah. My lace will, my wig will come off my head right now if it's... <laughs> Go. Joyce. <laughs> Spit it out. That is. Stop. Correct. Hey! You doubted what me? The? You know what's crazy? <laughs> I went to the seven stages of grief in this microphone. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is the United me. Kingdom a country? Can you explain that to so us? So, the that United was Kingdom th- is up. not a country. The United Kingdom makes up, is made up by England, Wales. Thank you. Scotland and Northern Ireland. And all of that is smaller than France. All I know is I looked at France and it looked humongous. That's all I remember. All of that is more than France. More? It's less, a lot less. Okay, see? Yeah. So France is still bigger. Yeah, remember I told I said France looked humongous compared to like what I was looking at on the map. You know what? I don't know if know if I heard the question correct the first time, but I was thinking that it's countries versus one country. But I don't know if I heard true false, whatever. Yes. Next question. You were fighting for your life there. I just didn't want to listen. You know what's crazy? (laughs) I'm fighting for this leaderboard. Let's go. Right. Question number eight. Guess the song. Okay. Okay. Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday. Then make a lot of love on a Monday. Uh Ah-ah. Never need. No, no. 
no one else babe because i'll be it's definitely ariana grande i know for a fact that's ariana grande i'm gonna be i'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up if i'm wrong i don't know what song it Wait, is let though. her finish it is After there more? Song, yeah. The, no, it's the definitely Ariana Grande because I remember hearing lyrics like that from an Ariana Grande song. It's in the album with, um, it's like when she broke up with Pete Davidson and then she dropped the whole album. No tears left to cry. Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama. I think it's, it's sounding a little bit. Boy, I'm Caucasian. trying to meet your ma- mama on a Sunday, then make love on a Monday. It's Ariana Grande. Seeing, let me see if we got love I mm. It's giving Ariana Grande to me. I just don't know. I know it's in the No Tears Left to Cry album. Let me just. I just don't know what the name of the song is. Do we get a half point? No. <laughs> no, it's literally so concrete. That's why I'm taking can we so get, seriously. Can we get asked all 15 questions because there's two of us? No. Okay, could you repeat the lyrics? Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday. Then make a lot of love on a Monday. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, never need. No, no. No one else, babe. Because I'll be... I don't know if it was before P. Davidson or after P. Davidson, but I know it's the No Tears Left to Cry album because that's the only album I actually listened to fully. Yes. It's not the same song, but it's giving the same type of thing. The same shit you would say. If you wrote that song, you definitely wrote this one. Yeah, hey, I'm going to throw up if I'm wrong. And if you throw up... If you throw up... So who do you think it is? I'm going to go Ariana Grande. I know it's Ariana Grande. I don't know the name of the song. Do we have to say the name? Yes. Damn you it. have to finish the lyric. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, we have to finish the lyrics? Yeah. Okay, then. I thought we were naming the song. Okay, just say, say, no. say the lyrics one more time. I'm going to bust it. I'm going to just do a random freestyle. Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday. Then make a lot of love on a Monday. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Never need no. No. No one else, babe. Because I'll be. Be. The thing is, if if I had the beat of this song, I would know the words. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy is that she's reading it so yeah. monotone. You're trying to do that. We can't hear the. You can't sing. Do you know what song it is? Um, yeah. Can you sing it on the beat? It will give it away. Okay, okay. Babe, and you're trying to be. Do, do, do. Do, do. I know there's. I know there's a yuh in there. For sure. Just don't know. Boy, I'm trying to. Meet your mama on a Sunday, then make a lot of love on a Monday. This is literally Ariana Grande. Uh, uh, I know it's Ariana Grande. Never need no, no one else, babe, because I'll be. How much of the lyrics do we need to finish? You know what's so crazy is I know the song. I know the song. You just need the next lyric. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Come in this moment. Come in this place. I don't think in this moment I'll really be able to come up with it, but like I know, I literally know, you're right. The lyrics though. Babe, what are the babe? Hit me. Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday and make a lot of love on a Monday. Ah, ah. What are the babe? I don't think the next, next lyric rhymes. No, because it's Ariana Grande, she's a white person. <laughs> it, just, it just has to be like rhymes. How much time do we get? Your time is up, to be honest. <laughs> We've been deliberating. I've said this thing like four times. Since I truly don't know. Can we get like a point? Okay, let's just. You know what? Babe? So, what are you looking in? We don't know, Stacey. I don't know. I really don't, don't know. know. Do I know it's Ayan Gandhi, but like. And I know it's in the notes of the crowd. Babe. 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 It comes after that. Babe. Babe. Because babe, babe. I'll be. Cause I'll be. Nah, just finish it. We're Bro, I don't listen to Ariana Grande enough to know. Go ahead, just that finish shit. it. We're dead. Let's go. Listen, if you asked me the lyrics of an emo song, I would have known immediately. What is okay, that? we've got no answer, ladies and gentlemen. The answer of the song is, cause I'll be switching the positions for you. Oh my lord! It's literally the chorus. It's positions are we under right now? She didn't make it rhyme. Hmm? I told you it didn't rhyme. I knew it didn't rhyme. Switching the positions. I thought it was gonna yeah. be the chorus. Like, yeah. You know what's crazy? The fact that I knew the second you said Meet Your Mama on a Sunday, I knew what album it was and who the artist was. I just I don't listen to her. To finish the album is crazy. 
The thing oh, is, really? It yeah. Yeah, okay. it, did, it didn't match the babe and wabe. No, I know. That you did, you did, you did pretty well. Okay, okay. Next right, week. let's get to question number eight because we are. No, we are. We're definitely running up bang, run, recording. Banging time. <laughs> banging out time. Question number eight. Sorry, question number nine. What French fashion house created the perfume opium? It's Bada. not a black bottle. No, no. Opium. Opium. The one that um, Sarah used to use? She used to use... It was in a black bottle with a pink top. Yo, that's crazy. My cousin is watching this right now. My cousin wears this perfume. She's gonna be sick, yo. I don't know what it is. I want to say a Prada, but I don't even know if Prada is French. Nope, it's not Prada. What are we locking in? Can I lock it in? Name a bunch of random perfumes right now. I I I use the most childish perfumes just, ever. Just I don't some, know. Just name some. Perfumes. Opium. It's Brands or perfumes? Perfumes. It's not Prada. It's not. Lock some. Lock I want to say Prada. What's sick is that I know what it is. But I don't know what it is right I don't, I, I use Sephora perfume, so this I don't know. This is why I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you much. waited so long to ask us these questions. You, I, I'm going to say wait, Prada. You wait to determine whether we're smart when the liquor has set in, yeah? <laughs> so now we're not smart. Anyway, and she's not drinking, y'all. Just just, just a preface. She's not drinking. But let's, I'm not smart anymore. When let's say Prada. Ladies. It's black opium, yeah? Black opium. It says opium here. I want to say Prada. It's I don't know Prada. if Prada is French. I don't wear designer, so, so I don't know. Let's just get it wrong. Let's see. Prada. What it, is. it is what it is. At least we got six right. Damn. I'm sick. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Are we looking in Prada? Balenciaga doesn't make perfumes, right? Oh. And Balenciaga is like Italian or some shit. Gucci, Louis, Fendi. Those are not, Blonda. none of those are French. Blonda. Go ahead. I don't know what it is on the tip of my tongue. When you say I'm going to scream. Okay. Prada. That is incorrect. The answer is YSL. You say Laurent. Oh. Y'all already know black opium is is a really holy grail. You if, know what's crazy is I could sit here, I could draw the bottle for you. Yes. Yeah, if, you, if you drew the bottle right here, I would have known because YSL is square. Even if you look at the way they spell opium on the bottle, it's a YSL font. Yeah. If you did that, I would have known. Because of the half of these is YSL. I know exactly. Okay, what you're, okay we're losers. Right, ladies, let's, let's get go. the last one going before we close. The phrase ace in the hole comes from which card game? Ace in the hole? Yes. I'm leaving this to you. I don't play card games. Is there multiple rights or just. What is it, go fish? I don't know. It's been all, it's not poker. It's not, it's not uh, the other one. Until you said card game, I was going to say golf. <laughs> Ace in the hole. Uh, babe, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't have the mental capabilities after this drink. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mina have it. Mina, me honestly, every single every single question is giving. I don't know. But I don't know anything after a certain like after a certain drink. I don't know anything. Ace it's a card in the game? hole. I, if you said a card game, I would have said I would have said what you just said. I, ace in the hole. I was like golf. Now you said ace in the it's hole. It's a card game. Dude, is that a saying they say in America or is it in the UK? Because I've never heard that in America. Ace, ace in, in the, the hole. hole. Who the fuck? I know go fish. I know BS. I know Ace in the hole. Ace in the hole. Poker. I can't tell if you just have a poker face right now or if you're irritated with us. No, this is what she be doing. Oh, I okay. Be it. I already be it. Okay. She be doing this in a bit and there's like music playing in the background. Okay. Is this Ace in the uh, hole? I don't think that's an American saying. Is it an American saying? Or do we having a It is an American term? saying. Ace in the Ace in the hole, in the hole. Inside the hole, there's an ace. What are we looking in, ladies? Honestly, I'm going to say poker, but it's not what it is. It's Actually, definitely it's poker. not poker. Just name any card game. Name multiple card games right now. I don't know card games, bro. Let's I grew up in a poker. household where Let's that wasn't a thing we did. We, we, we never played, so it's not yeah, we don't play we card games. If we for three hours, we won't get it. Ace in the hole. What are we looking in? Ace in the hole. 
That's that's the question. <laughs> what? Ace in the hole is the question. What's the answer? Fuck it. Poker. What? What? <laughs> what is the question again? The question, the final question, ladies, for you. It is the phrase ace in the hole comes from which card oh. game? Oh, now I'm seeing where the question came in. Okay, I'm going to say poker. Poker. But poker is like chips. It's not even whatever. It's, it's not what it is. It's okay. Go ahead. Are we locking in? We're locking in. Yeah. yeah, we're so, so strong. No, cause she's looking for the hard questions in that 15 mm-hmm. choice. Yeah. Go ahead. Poker. That is correct. Well done, ladies. Stop. Don't, don't, don't play us. with us. Don't be like I it's... swear to God, it's correct. Say Wallahi. Wallahi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's correct. I've been playing poker my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. I've never even played poker. Isn't no, that a no, gambling game? I used to play poker in the house all the time. Well right? done. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was hoping you locked <laughs> it in, to be honest. I'm not sure how much you got. I think that's five, six. I, don't six know, I feel like it was seven. Seven? Yeah. It's a number. Anyways, editor, put it up. It's here somewhere. Congratulations, <laughs> guys. I believe it's six or seven. I wasn't counting. Can we, can we just get one more question for funsies? There's no other question. You said there were 15. No, if there's two people, there's usually 15. Oh, but because I was last minute. Yeah, um, sorry. You were like, I need to win this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I Do love you have people asking you questions? Yeah, and, they, and usually I get it right most times. People oh, yeah. are like, I'm going to ask you a question. I see if you know. Uh, yeah. And I'm, I usually know. You're just that girl. Yeah. Okay. I'm the quiz master. Okay. But guys, with that being said, I'm going to close the show. We've been filming for about three and a half hours now. Yeah. But it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm very, very licky licky as you can tell by how I'm slowing yeah. down my work. No, seriously. But thank you so much, guys. Where do we find you on the internet? My lady. Um, on all platforms, my name is Lalo Kwasim. L-A-Y-L-O-Q-A-S-I-M. Q A, not Q U A. Boots. Period. My name is Stacy Wedi Moadiro. If you find me on any platform, my name is S T A C Y T H I R U on TikTok and Instagram, and on like maybe some random platform like Twitter. It's two T's in the Viro part, but it's not. It's not Viro. It's a Viro from the chest, from the throats. <laughs> Get it right, Kenyan people. Stand up. Stand the <laughs> fuck up. Big up you guys and thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl. It has been an absolute pleasure. Honestly, I feel like you have recouped the US um, the US girlies and you have made a very fucking phenomenal episode. So thank you so much. And thank you guys. I'm out. I'm going. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.